Please. Good Feel evening, yourself. good morrow, and good day, and welcome to another edition oh, of Slice and Dice here with the Many Lands campaign, streaming live on Twitch and on Marshall's phone, apparently. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, okay, so today is our uh, 15th uh, session, dice. and uh, we had a bit of a an entertaining romp last week where we uh, unfortunately didn't have Marta with us, but we did have Neris with us to finally finish off the Rat King's lair. Thanks, and we'll be James. Yeah, we do. We're catching on that up on that shortly. Now we've got no down this week, but Marta's back. Hey! Hey! Uh, and I'm speaking eating. speaking of Bart and Marta, guys. Um, so mm -hmm. so currently, while well, you're mid mid flow, um, mm -hmm. so you've been uh, uh, you, well. A couple of sorry, last week you did. Uh, you want to get my words out. You did your uh, 24 hours uh, straight gaming streaming all online. How is the uh, the donations front? How's it all going? Um, how much have you raised so oh, far? We have raised a very Some impressive um, 1,162 pounds. Oh, that's exact. A lot, uh, yes. I just <laughs> looked it up. Now, uh, we got it. And considering that last year we actually had the backing of a company that was matching our Corporate donation. masters. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that got us to 2,000 pounds. This is actually kind of better than last year. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you very much to everybody who donated. Uh, the stream was awesome. It we we veered off our normal well, projected schedule <laughs> so pretty much, much immediately. So much. <laughs> um, Always the way with yep. this is out of six. Yeah. Because you know we powered through the uh, the first. We had six raids to get through in six hours. I, I had a fun three hours watching that one raid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the one after that took six. I was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. You enjoyed the first one, not yeah. the second. So the first, the first four raids we we did in oh, like just over an hour three. each, and then Spire of Stars took us three hours, and then because Revenge I am took... not good at video games. I yeah. mean, most yeah. of us sure. haven't played that in a sure, while, no. and then Riven took us six hours. So in which there's also a part right in there that you can rewatch. In which case, I get stuck on a, a an area puzzle for half an hour. At literally oh the God, same three yeah. jumps, oh, yeah. and oh. I can't get. Out. <laughs> and then we did. I did um, a challenge for that. For that. Yeah, you, he yeah. actually he actually bet that I was gonna do it, and I failed him. So he donated an extra five pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did literally tell her, if you can do it on this turn, I'll, I'll give you, I'll donate five pounds. And that was the turn she did it in. She's like, focus. Focus for the five pounds. You are a victim Wait, of your own success. Sure, yeah. 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 Anyways, yeah. we also ended up playing uh, Borderlands, and we played a lot of Prop Hunt, mm. and from Terrace Town, and it's all still available to view. Um, we're going to be doing a highlight reel as well, but donations are still open. So yes. if anybody would still like to donate whatever amount, we are super happy and grateful for any amount that mm -hmm. you want to donate for a good cause. Yeah, uh, yeah. Please do. All of the yes, all the proceeds. As I don't know if we already said, go to uh, Stand Up to Cancer and uh, to Cancer Research UK, which obviously uh, massive uh, charities like you know Sod Cancer, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, so yeah, uh, all donations. Very much appreciated. So yeah, there you go. Um, well done, guys. Thank on that you. again. My favourite part of that stream was when you were you literally just finished the Riven Eye bit for like two hours. I literally went, "Yes, they've done it!" And then someone yelled, "Quick down his throat!" And I'm like, "There can't be more." Oh, <laughs> you have got, no yeah, idea. It, it got so much worse than that. And, the thing, and he's like, he just yelled, "Quick down his throat!" No one hesitates. It's like, yeah, that's reasonable. Let's go. Yeah. So yeah. it took us about. Because we didn't do this with with uh, guides, we didn't. We figured out the raid for mm. the most part without any guides or any online help. It's, it was only because we were six hours in, and there was one tiny detail that turns out we got really lucky on when we finished it the first time before the stream uh, that we uh, figured out. But yeah, it took us about three months of playing that during the stream. That was a long stream. <laughs> <laughs> during the stream. <laughs> Yeah. But it took about three months to figure out that that uh, raid, and uh, it takes a lot of coordination, a lot of decision. And when we finally finished that eye thing, because it's all so fast paced, and relies on everybody hitting the exact right thing, that once you finish that, you're like, yes, beat the raid. What? 
Mm. <laughs> and there's two more parts to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Out of the frying pan is the fire. I like it. Um, puzzles, going into things' mouths, uh, not being able to get out again, and uh, being the first of many things to come. Might yeah, be inspiration well, for me from yeah, later yeah. on. Yeah. Well, well if you describe you the actual intestines, because, I mean, the detail within which those were constructed in the game, where there's like these little villi or whatever you want to call them. If you want, to yeah. get, if you want me yeah, to yeah, do I'm more giving, description, I yes. will do it. No, no, I, those, I, I strive to do more. As we're going through its like intestinal tract mm. it's basically there's these weird thin the oh, things in there ridges and, and, you know, and yeah, yeah. Oh, not ridges no 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 it's like a freaking meadow but mm. like a flesh a flesh meadow yes. <laughs> this, this right is, yeah. this, is <laughs> okay. not, this is not the single player puzzle game inside magical books no no cool this destiny 2 this is okay. where you have six people having to do the exact right thing to get out of the flesh meadow yeah, when everyone says river, I'm thinking <laughs> yeah. river. So we've, had, to we've had flesh brollies, and now mm. we have the flesh, flesh meadows. meadows. I yeah. fully expect those to appear at some point. M- maybe could could do. Some Depends where you future. guys go in your uh, interplanar <laughs> travels. Uh, whenever <laughs> that may happen. And then the lesser Replace elemental plane of flesh. With flesh. Mm, <laughs> flesh. Speaking flesh of room. flesh and adhering things to your flesh, don't uh, pin badges uh, to your flesh. Pin them to your clothes. And I say that because we've got our very first giveaway here on the channel, which is all to do with... Well, flesh. It, flesh. No. <laughs> that was no. an impressive lead in. You see where I went there? Around the houses a little bit. Because our giveaway... Oh, Shit. hello. Don't worry about that. Sorry, it sorry. won't go anywhere. Um, if he does, he'll just say who, lo- who let the dogs Marshall out repeatly. That's all you got to worry about. <laughs> anyway, so we've got our very first giveaway here on the channel. Um, so we have uh, teamed up with the... <laughs> we've teamed up with the Adventurer's Gift Shop. Uh, uh, who uh, has got a lovely uh, little uh, Etsy store and does <coughs> these, uh, does some... Uh, uh, some D&D themed badges which come in these really nice little wrappers like this and I've been given one for myself uh, this dungeon master which I'll be wearing for the rest of uh, the rest of the stream that just clears up a lot of confusion now just in case you didn't already know uh, strange man sitting at the end of the table who is this man this is not the oh, Seth show I yet. Maybe later. Oh. Put this on in a minute. Uh, I've also got oh, one more, which I've been told to give to Marta. Oh, uh, there you what? go. Uh, so Thank so you. open it up, see what it is, see what it, and me. read out what it says. I'm on fire starter. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, thank you, Sarah, for that as well. I got pissed on, and all I got was just loud. The DM killed my character, and all I got was this lousy badge. Yeah. Yes! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Almost exactly what I predicted as well, except I predicted it was going to be, I got urinated on by an NPC and all I got was this lousy It's very close. Is that better? I'm going to do one more quick plug. I'm wearing a t-shirt for a game I'm in. So if you want to hear more of my voice, check out this. You have my hair in the way. You've got to do my hair in the way. Total War, Warhammer. Total War, Warhammer. War, War, War. Warhammer, Total War. War, War, War. In the, in the am, DLC, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I'm Aranissa Saltspite. You can have an entire campaign playing as me. Like oh, this. wow. Yeah. Zombie pirate queen. That's no, so she's cool. not a zombie. No? She oh. is queen of zombie pirates. Uh, but she herself is not undead. Uh, but ooh. she does have swordfish noses for legs. So, yeah, peg legs. <laughs> so now you know where um, the inspiration for Nerys yeah. came from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but on a serious note, yeah, yes. um, that's, uh, yeah. Um, no problem at all. Um, so um, the so to enter the competition uh, to win a set of three badges, uh, which includes the Dungeon Master and the DM killed my character, and one other which I have pictured uh, on the uh, on our Twitch page. Uh, there's instructions how to do, but all you've got to do is, if you're not already, follow us on Twitch, and then you just have to write in the comment section the word badge or badges either one of those will do no you can write badges you know that's fine but but Mm -hmm. we're really looking for badge or badges in in the chat (laughs) mushroom Uh, and that's we're old. once you do that <laughs> and once you do that you'll be in with the chance of winning it's as easy as that so get entering because the competition is only running for the next couple of sessions so we'll be announcing the winner live on Monday the 4th of November Hell during yeah. the stream so two weeks to enter two weeks to enter I'm not swearing at you um, so get on it uh, there you go our first giveaway <laughs> yeah. on, on the channel so, enter yeah. fuckers enter god damn it anyway uh, speaking of entering let's enter into tonight's session on friendly friendly channel. Channel. and dice <laughs> Uh, 
And we are back. Sorry, guys, you can carry on taking the picture. That's absolutely fine. But let's recap you all on what happened last time. No, come on. Yes, we just got to the torture bit. Yeah, so, so you guys have been... <laughs> I'm just going to... Whatever <laughs> Seth, Seth says right? something. Yeah, fine. Okay. So, um... So after uh, leaving the the uh, the cave underneath Flaming Jacks, as you'd found, it was uh, a bit overwhelming, especially since one of your parties died, uh, <coughs> and then you managed to just about bring Neris back through uh, a dark ritual, which some of your party were very much not impressed with. We didn't even try CPR. <laughs> didn't even attempt it. You're I like, no. Nah. Kind of already strangled to death. Dark mantle so... to the face. Mm. Yeah, that would yeah. do that. Didn't go very well, but anyway, um, so you brought her back, um, but it seems to have come with a cost, uh, as uh, Lee Oberyn, your warlock, lost one of his three spells, <laughs> lost one of the, a third of his spells, <laughs> really harsh. And you know what, with that, I was We go now live to a recreation. Well, I was thinking, I'm gonna give him Sarah. one of my scrolls, and I realize it's dark vision, which he already has, and yeah. detect magic. Which he already has, <laughs> yeah. So I, well, the thought was there. The thought was there. Um, uh, and um, you, yeah, took took yourselves out and had a serious talk about what happened <laughs> and how you were going to go forward. Um, Brucon also left with a black scar on his sternum from a uh, act of sacrifice to try and save it's metal uh, AF. Neris. Yeah, and you actually and you've lost a, a, a uh, uh, permanently a hit point as a result. So yeah. you're down on health. So it's really come with a cost bringing back your friend. Was it worth it? We'll find out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you guys went uh, finally once you'd recouped for the night. <gasps> Uh, at about midnight, you managed to sneak past the patrons of the bar because you're still, apparently, or descriptions of you are still wanted uh, by the authorities, the uh, guard, the Republic Guard, for apparently stealing a stonebreaker, which you very much did oh, yeah. do. Yeah, we did do that. You very much did do that. We rode it into battle. And Seth has been. We didn't leave any living witnesses. Uh, and Seth, although not named, his description and picture uh, have been put up on a separate wanted poster wanted for escaping from. A prison wagon. He's essentially a fugitive. Um, so you guys had to uh, sneak past uh, the patrons, which you did, and you went back down into the lair. And finally, you got to have your moment uh, confronting the Rat King himself in his laboratory, finding uh, as you, uh, <coughs> Seth, employed uh, Nibbles, your new friend and rat, to uh, who can speak to you telepathically, to uh, go and find a secret entrance. And in fact, there was one, which you guys had kind of stumbled across already down in the stream. Anyway, you used that secret entrance, you managed to uh, surprise the Rat King and got into a big old fight with him and his minions and just about managed to stop him. Uh, and in fact, uh, as, as he was uh, being overwhelmed by you guys, he kept shouting out about the, the voice, the old one, and make it stop. Um, which was strange because oh, yeah. it was just strange to everyone apart from Seth, who actually could also hear the same voice. Um, just before he started screaming that out. Uh, and that's where we pick things up. So you, yeah. you've knocked him unconscious and tied him up in one corner yeah. of the uh, of his uh, laboratory. All across um, this uh, this room is, although it's part of a natural cavern, it's uh, you've got many workbenches around with uh, vials and various liquids, and uh, there's some like uh, rat fetuses and so on in jars. <coughs> it's a bit gory, a bit bit kind of the bit of the Doctor Frankenstein about it, mad scientist vibes. Um, there's also a leaned up against one wall. You notice a um, a uh, staff. Just up against the wall. It's it looks fairly mundane, apart from the fact that the wood is I've got a black sort of twist. It's of a black boy, twisted down. wood. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's, it, that's propped up against the wall in one corner. Um, aside from that, there's also um, a ladder leading up to a trapdoor, which Fleeting Look tried but couldn't open. And now he's failed, and we'll leave him out for the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> You have failed. In the corner with your shame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fell down and did not get up. Guys, you know the other, um, you know the other door which is currently covered by the white bit. Are we able to see if there's a path leading up to that door that we can unlock, or is it? Because I know there was water there. meta knowledge. No, no, because we're in the room. Because there's uh, water there. Yes, there's water around there. Yeah. Is there anything here leading over towards that door? 
we're um, the prisoner on the other side and we need the lotus pup. Yeah, so that is where the trap door is, it's underneath oh, that. Okay. So that's um, what you're seeing that's covered up on the map is actually higher up. Uh, that's why you can't see what's in it. Okay. It's, uh, but it looks from the outside that it's aside from the natural sort of cavern you've got around you that looks manufactured you don't know have to be a dwarf I'll to know that that has been manufactured stone this little I'm just going to put inlet. a few things in the corner next to that and shame that he couldn't open the door <laughs> you what sorry? I'm just going to put a few in the corner next to that yeah. it's a shame that he couldn't open it okay. Dan I, I hope you're watching the stream or can watch in the future yeah, buddy. see how James treats your character his, <laughs> his retribution will be swift and weird <laughs> <laughs> His retribution is just going to be talking to me. <laughs> He's playing the long game, certainly. Um, so, guys, with um, with the Rat King unconscious, what did you want to do? Uh, Take everything that isn't nailed down. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm, no, no, I don't. I don't. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not serious. Um, is, is there anything that looks valuable in the room? Yeah, I tell you what, you make an investigation check. Oh, yeah. See what you can do. Can we, can we, can we, can we actually a... collect up all the vials with something in it? Like to, to, to uh, one table. So we're not looking around. Oh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can gather those up. That's yeah, fine. Because you can see yeah, those pretty clearly. Yeah, so we put all of them to one right. table. Yeah, right. sure. So similar ones are next to each other. Uh, collectively, a 20 is good. 20 on your investigation check? Yeah. Nice. Okay, right. Organize so. By colour? Yeah, so if, if there's like, if we find like three potions that look similar. Oh, I like around. this. Yes, we can do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so um, like all the because he's been throwing vials at us, which have been blowing up. So yeah. you gather up all of these um, vials uh, and uh, accoutrement, they're sort, of al they're sort of like alchemist tools and the like. Just so um, having like 20 vials everywhere. Yeah. We've got, like, I already picked up ones. a lot of alchemy stuff yes. from the Basilisk cave. Yes, you've got an alchemist kit actually. Okay. 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 So, great. Um, do you have a proficiency with that? Do you know None what whatsoever. Do you know what it is? No idea what it is. It looks shiny. It looks shiny, and there's like pretty liquids and like <laughs> things. Mm -hmm. um, from from the items that you Maybe find that Seth mess. finds, cause, and the rest yeah. of you, that it's it's there all on top of the uh, workbenches already. You find uh, four. Files of acid. Am I just keep losing this? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll write, I'll yeah, write it, it down as well. Just stuff, but yeah, just I mean, if there's it. anything that. Does anybody have alchemy in this party? No. Yeah, if we find out that there's something explosive, I would vote for uh, everybody uh, having a little bit of that. Yeah. Oh, well, well, speaking of which, um, so there are four vials of acid, two alchemists' fire. Which I want that one. Essentially, napalm. Napalm, exactly. I want that. Uh, and three potions of healing. You also find. Um, I want that too. <laughs> you estimate. Um, so, so Mala looks a bit yeah. more in depth, uh, going into the cupboards and, and so on, hits, so gathering up all of the alchem, alchem, uh, alchemical equipment you can find. Um, you roughly guess this will be worth around 350 gold pieces, all of this alchemical equipment. A lot of expensive stuff. That's not including those potions. Not including so, the potions, um, no, just, just all of the materials <laughs> um, used for crafting potions and things so like that. So 350 gold once we sell it to someone. Neris comes up to Mallory and says, okay, Can I have one of those healing potions? I really, really don't want to die again. Oh, well, I thought you meant like to chug me out. Well, well, uh, of you course. Know, the, the whole resurrection thing won't be a problem anymore. Miss Neris, but uh, yeah, you're unconscious. It, hands it to you. Uh, how will you administer it? I'll, I'll try to um, not be unconscious. Oh, well, mm, I, uh, I would advocate for that, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna, I've still got one health potion of mine, so I'm good with you distributing it to other people. Are you making a point by going, hey, still got a healing potion? I'm right just, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on this one pocket, the only pocket <laughs> on this belt. Mm, I'm, I'm noted. I'm just thinking the... <laughs> Chances that like, with me having this, the chances of me having to be resurrected again using dark magic is probably going to be a bit lower. Give her a second uh, one. I uh, <laughs> fully intend to not let that happen again. Uh, but uh, by all means, uh, take it and put it somewhere uh, that uh, is accessible. Potion! Give me one! Oh, uh, uh, I, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, why, why, why? Oh, just because I hate me. Yeah. I, I mean. Generally, if people, as you pointed out, are unconscious, mm. they can't do the thing. Maybe yeah. you have a potion to pour it into someone else. Yeah. So I think I think you should also have a potion. Just you know, when you get hit once, you can take one. 
Yeah. Just to get back to you. At the risk of being. I, I don't understand. <laughs> in case you get hit. As you're falling. We'd like to be healed straight away. Yeah, I get hit, <laughs> and, and then someone else has to, to administer a potion. <laughs> at the risk of metagaming it slightly, for, for keeping Leo going the, at the moment, the, the, the best plan would seem to be having one of the speedier characters in the party having a, a potion to administer unto him. So, Seth or Blue Yeah, we'll I've, I've still got mine. Well, there's two health potions. Let's not. Uh, there's two left, so do you want one? Does that, yeah, sure. does that all step run? No. Oh, I'm. Oh, no, I can't with the table run, so. Well, that, that <laughs> so, like, you've answered your own question there, my friend. There is two with Fleeting standing next to me. I'm like, let's, let's not get. Uh, fleeting won't need a potion because he can heal me. Can't you, Fleeting? Oh, Fleeting just just oh, looks yeah. at you. Um, yeah. Just, just, just stares at you blankly. What? Was he deep in thought? He, he, you, it's hard to tell with his pupilless eyes whether he's deep in thought or he's um, blanking. blanking, quite quite literally blanking. <laughs> no, um, he's deep in thought, singular. He has one. No. <laughs> fact, he might be sleeping deep standing up, thought. it's hard yeah. to is tell. He, is he thinking about what the, what the can't really see it. Um, like a darker term for a group of thoughts? Yay. <laughs> yes, yes, that's probably what it is. Yes. Do you want to check that trapdoor? Um, Mawa, at this moment, while um, when Seth asks this, you're actually more taken with the staff. Um, that's in one corner of the room. When you exa- when you pick it up and examine it, you turn it around, and actually, what seems to be on one side um, just a basic uh, blackened wood <coughs> uh, stick, actually on the other side, it seems to have been carved to rese- to resemble a massive rat set tied together by their tails, just down uh, along it. True rat. Yes. I uh. Mm. Exactly. So I put it back down. Pedo <laughs> that seems funny. Can I do an arcana check on it? Yeah. Uh, you can do an arcana check. Yeah, of course you can. Mm. No, I want to use there that. Uh, that is uh, ten. Ten. All right. So uh, with ten, you just Anything? look at it and you're like, I mean, this looks like a magical staff. I don't really know much else about it, and that's all you get from it, really. Hang on. So, uh, Leo, with the potions hmm? and Everything else around there, you would see a magic around. Ooh, I, I can do that. Magic anymore. Oh no, you you <laughs> <sort of laughs> <did it. laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. I still have some magic powers. Right, you can. Um, so with that, with detect magic, yes, this uh, this staff most certainly has a magical aura to it. Any of the vials? Um, the vials, no. What? School of magic. Apart from the healing potions, is the staff. No. <laughs> Good question. Because that is the Hang part on of a minute. Detect magic. It, Correct. It, today on DM quiz. <laughs> you look this today up. on have you planned? Today on how to annoy your DM. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's quite. How it's, to kill off your character. It's quite. <laughs> it's quite all right. It might be. It might be this week. Uh, <laughs> Everyone plays fighters. No one has to take magic. <laughs> Uh, it's like the slow shift. I feel like we're going to take it. Uh, you get a conjuration. All uh, melee all the time. Mm. Aura no range. No spells. Just Whether magic. it's the stuff itself no, has been made no through weapons. conjuration mm. or it has an effect. The Leroy Jenkins part. Is of the <laughs> conjuration school. You're, you're not entirely sure from it. Detect magic, but that's what you get. I get a sense of conjuration. Mm-hmm. Um. If you have any sense, you'll leave that alone. I Way very good. Don't uh, don't advocate that you uh, use anything of magic from this place. Um, is he awake yet? As I'm walk second. over to the dark dude and just knock him with my foot. The second you say, have you got any sense, you'll leave it. Uh, fleeting, can you go get the stuff? <coughs> Why can't you get the stuff? <laughs> uh, just be fair if you took it, you'll, you know. I've got a hammer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, bet, tell you what, you carry it for us, that'd be great. Myself and Neris, we do magic. Mm-hmm. Would you like the staff? Well, you know what? This is what I propose. I have a perfectly normal staff. <laughs> and I like the one that's also got nice things about it. So. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Zero. Nice things? That's uh, rats. No, no, don't ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the rats. Just look what at the lovely if style. Ignore the death I have uh, no Drake lines, which you didn't miss. Uh, fate does. Carry on. I take the staff, and Malor, I can gift you my staff since you 
tragic to the last draw. So I, couldn't, I couldn't have uh, a serious face. Miss Nerys, I would uh, advocate you don't know anywhere there that you keep your own self. But you are your own woman. <laughs> Clerics, you, you can't just do a nice gesture right. for them. That's right, I am my own woman. I mean, elf woman. Um, I am taking the staff, and Mal, you're oh, taking that one. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm Back up from your, from your eighth of the staff. I can now, I can now, well, no, I threw that. So, so Neris, you've just given away your. My quarter staff. The quarter staff that was your father's or your adoptive father, wasn't it? It's a family, yeah, Luke. All right. This one okay. I was. I mean, the, party, yeah. the party's been through some I'm shit. I'm just saying, it, that, that is a big deal for a, that. That's what I'm saying. It's not an heirloom. Oh. But it's because I know everybody here had a hand in saving me in some way. Hmm. And so, I'm, and he's healed me several times, and mm-hmm. Nerys feels particularly that? generous towards Mallor, who looks out for her. He, um, yeah. Actually, to answer your question, Bob, uh, Fleeting Look actually stuck his uh, his hammer into the ritual Oh, yeah, so he did, to yes, power, yes, to yes, power yes, it. Yeah, yeah. And electrocuted And electrocuted you, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> if, if no one's going to trapdoor, I'm going to go check that trapdoor. All right, um, okay. So, do, so it's um, a so it's conjuration. It's conjuration. not locked, but it, there's weight on top of it. I push it and it starts open, I look at Really? Really? It's just stuck. So I'm yeah. pushing to try and open it. Okay, so you need to make an athletics check. Uh, 16. Uh, 16. With one mighty yeah. heave, yeah. the trapdoor flies open. You feel something heavy fall off uh, behind you, yeah. uh, behind the, the door, sorry. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and peeking up. With your dark yeah. vision, because it's not actually lit in here currently, um, it looks like uh, a bedroom of some variety. <laughs> so Drake's, Drake's added a new fate dice suggestion. Ah. Uh, recurrent fate dice. Roll, fate dice. Roll a d8 and have that number of new fate dice happen simultaneously. Oh god! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Cumulative fate that dice. Feels like oh, that's heavy. Storm. Cluster fate dice. We will have to. That's like the wild magic one of like roll nice. a star. Do three. Yeah. So I plus one for hitting things. It's really one uh, this new one. Yeah. No. It okay. just, so, no, uh, you will need to spend some time with this yeah. stuff to find it's out what it does. I'm just thinking the melee stuff. Normal. It's just a normal quarter staff yeah. uh, for those purposes. Yeah. Yes. Just so I know what to write down. Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 just normal. Same, same damn thing. thing. Hmm? Um, head up, so you can head, head up inside. Take a look around when I go up into space, so as I'm moving up space, just behind me, firing at me. Okie dokie. So you're going to what sort of stealth in there? Uh, no, just um, perception. Okay, make, okay, make a perception check then. Yeah, but, sure. Uh, Have a look around. Well, it basically means that if you use passive, uh, <coughs> that we go with that without rolling. If you roll, that, but you, it's but it would be a higher check being passive than if you're actively looking. Uh, my passive is fifteen. Okay, dokie. So, uh, I'm just one passive. There. Okay, with well, passive look, um, <laughs> it just means you just kind of go in like, and use your peripherals like, a little is bit. Is it like a family fleeting look, tweeting look, passive look? <laughs> I mean, maybe. A scant <laughs> look. That's a separate quest. My passive is better than most of my rolling stuff. So it seems to be a, a cramped bedroom filled with uh, amenities uh, that you wouldn't find <laughs> Genuinely elsewhere Genuinely thought you said cabin. memes for a second there. Filled with memes. <laughs> filled memes with memes everywhere. I must go there. Marshall, you can't hashtag fake dice whilst in the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how Date this works. Dice. You can do it. Uh, you can do it uh, any time throughout the week though. on our social media channels. It's all at Slice and Six. Uh, no, there's a chance that could be fleeting. I was going to say that seven fleeting is definitely how that's going to go. No. Um, anyway, um, so uh, there's a. Um, as I get there's a larger space. It's not. It's not that big. No, it's quite a small, uh, cramped area. There's the enough room for a uh, for a double bed, which is probably why it feels like it's quite cramped. You've got a big bedroom in quite a small cool. space. Um, um, go down and ask someone to come up and give me a hand looking through some of this stuff. Sure, sure. Um, it's just the it's just the regular sort of features you'd find in there. So there's a wooden bedside table. Uh, there's a wardrobe, a tall wooden wardrobe in uh, one corner. Um, and there's a reinforced wooden chest uh, beside a desk. Um, and it looks like you've pulled up a, um, there's the remnants of a rug just over the, d- the top of the trapdoor. It looks like you've kind of unveiled a yeah. trapdoor by accident. Um, and so where you've opened the, uh, opened the trapdoor behind you is the desk and then the chest, which you've also seem to have knocked over. Cool. 
I'm gonna yell down to someone to start and give me a hand with him for a minute. Alright. Um, who would you like to, who would you like to come? Can I ask Leo? Can you go and yes? Well, yeah, sure, I can What's do that. What's down there? Uh, up. Hmm? I mean, up there. <laughs> uh, it seems to be a bedroom, but there's a desk and, ch- and chest here, so I just want to see if there's any magic around them before I start opening stuff. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna follow. The open heads up. And I'll give you, uh, I'll give you guidance. As you walk by. 10 HP. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, when, we get, when you get to the top, like, can you sense any magic anywhere? Uh, l- let me have a look. Um, <laughs> I look around with my <laughs> magic vision. Okay. Um, the glass again. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are two things that catch your attention in this room. Uh, first, first of all, the wardrobe uh, is giving off a magical glow, a big magical glow from from that. Um, it appears that there is some kind of, uh, if you're asking for the school of magic, which I assume you would with detect magic, um, this would be um, a, a abjuration magic from that. I think. Leobrin, oh, what do your elf eyes see? I think, yeah, I think that's the right one for this one. Uh, I will double check that later. Uh, also, the chest um, has a faint um, glow of um, a transmutation magic. Um, yes, there's, uh, the wardrobe is magic. Uh, abjuration, which is like protection. And Steph's hands are slowly going towards the chest. And the chest is transmutation. So it moves away from the chest. <laughs> so, and does that mean I can open it? I don't know if it's like a chest that has a spell guarding it, or maybe it wasn't a chest originally and now it is a chest. <laughs> so, so, can I? Mm. <laughs> I've got a poke with the sword. Do you poke with the sword? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's worth a poke. Mm. Yeah, all right, I, poke with the sword. Yeah. I, I like. It doesn't to... seem to move. Like to do an okay. arcana check. Can I? It helps at all. Oh, you're not. You're sense. not currently up there. Yes, no, I followed him. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just. It's him. like you weren't even Andy, there. Andy, um, Andy all right. Gave me I tell you, you can take counter uh, Take the thing off. No. <laughs> <laughs> take, I was there. I, I said so all along. Ask him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's watch the action replay. Um, no, 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 that's fine. You can also come <laughs> up there. That's, that's not a problem. Um, so, what do you want to do? An arcana check. Yeah. Um, on the. Chest. chest in case I sure. can help. Sure, you can do an arcana check. Yeah, you'd have to obviously go up yeah, to and D4. kind of pass your hand over it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can do an arcana check. While leaning on the staff. Of course. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, a, a 13. Math. 13? Okay, oh, so with a 13 you're like, oh, there's, something, there's something here that's, that's not quite Right, and and when you look down, your hand is now stuck to the chest. Oh, crying out loud! And then suddenly it opens and it reveals a more uh, tongue comes out. Yeah, caught and it. I caught it. I literally. Uh, so did Drake Lazarus. He was like, yeah. "It's a mimic, mimic. It's a mimic. <laughs> Please be a mimic. Mimic, <laughs> mimic. 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 <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, it's a mimic. That's okay. The good thing is, I started with. I'm gonna poke it with my sword. And what's this? The sword is still there. Right. The sword is, yep, it's there, ready yeah. to go. Um, Please kill it. So oh. does a... Um, so a stupid number, I don't ask it. No, 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 does a 17 does, hit? Yes. Okay, so it'll be the 17... Yeah, I think you have to shield before it hurts. No, no, like it's, it's, it's you can choose to, it's a, re, it's a reaction, so... You, it, yeah, it but I think it's... <coughs> I'd have to wait well, you calculate, oh, basically, yeah. What, I can I can wait until he tells me how much damage. No, no, no. no you have to <laughs> declare it before I do damage because it's yeah. to b- boost okay. your AC I to make will, it pass. I will. Shield. Shield. <laughs> and magic just panic. Because there's a freaking you. tongue coming out at me. <laughs> <laughs> so that would force it to miss because that raise your AC to uh, from 15. To, is it 15 your AC? How much? Adds five. five. Okay, so 19. it's 19. 19. Okay, so it would miss. Yeah. yeah. So so you um it tries to bite into you this thing mm-hmm. and uh. And, and so suddenly this just arcane aura just comes over and protects you from harm and it doesn't you don't do any damage but you are still stuck to it. Yeah, and I'm uh, screaming, so <laughs> they should <laughs> ah, 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 ah. We're gonna need to roll for initiative. Yeah, yes. everybody. It's mimic time. Oh, yeah. oh, sick. <laughs> Every time. If 
finally something that's double digits. I know. I'm extremely happy. Well, I should also roll for initiative. Every roll has been five or less for the last, I don't know, how many years. I told you it'd do that. Yeah. Over 15 years and we still don't know the answer. Anyone gets 20 or above? No. For real? Sorry. Dang. Okay, that's fine. We're in trouble. It was a really bad throw. We're in, we're uh, in trouble okay, now. Uh, fifth, uh, 20 to 15? 15 to 20? 19. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay. that's How much is that? Uh, are you doing fleeting as well? No. Or is he staying out of this? He dies. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> he, he got a two, but I don't know what his stats are. I've got a uh, shoot, but that's fine. Uh, we can all leave him out of this. He's last-ish. Um, no, okay, 17. 17, that's quite good. I'm not fine. Especially for you, that's, that's good because you're going to need this. Yes, 16. Uh, 16? Fully over it. Uh, okay. Yeah. So if it's before you, and then ten. everyone who's upstairs. Fifteen to ten. Is high on the initiative. Bring it. That's good. Ten, ten, fifteen yeah. to ten. Ten to five. Eight. Eight. Five. Okay. Still behind. Eight. 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 So if you can, if you can place, if you can place uh, Leobrin uh, and Seth and Neris in the room, that's the bed. Um, it will be, um, yeah, around there, yeah, in in the centre of the room. Oh, centre. Can I also say at this point that Neris, Neris, I hate this place. I hate this dungeon. I hate this. There's rats. There's. There's things biting me! This is the first thing There's things biting me! Somebody just freaking. Chest get with the a tongue! tongue. This, is the first, no. this, this is the first This is not enough! Get it off! Get it off! This is the first time you've tried to be eaten. It's true. It's, like you, don't, oh, it's yeah. like you don't want to live. <laughs> Samuel Johnson once said, when one is tired of fighting off sentient furniture, <laughs> it's tired of life. My concert is kindly requested Badger. Yep. And you, uh, yep, there you go, entered. Um, I'll count badges because I think it's fun. Uh, <laughs> so, Greg Lazarus, you've been entered into the draw. Okay, uh, so first thing, first thing of all is that um, the mimic's going to attack you because you grappled to it. Okay, so duh, okay, well, 16 on the dice, I'm pretty sure it's going to hit you because that will be 21 altogether. Okay, so no, no, need to, no need to shield this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to do that. Well, no, it's still, it's still happening. That's absolutely fine. Shields up until turn. That's right, because it's a reaction. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not yeah. that it's helping you now. Oh, no, it's only for one round, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Good. Uh, okay, so you take uh, 11, points. 11 points of piercing damage plus 7 points of acid damage. Jeez, high, so high, high roller. High, high roll. <laughs> So, what was out. it? 11? As it bites in 18 total. 18, okay, so math, uh, 6. I'm on 6 points. Well, you're lucky if you look at that first one. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, Good that's... Good move. Set. Cool. Oh, on that uh, rapier, I'm going to do Is it in between us here? I should say, let's bring up the map, shouldn't we? Let's bring up the... Is, the... It, is it here? Do we have a marker for the chest movie? Uh, I can give you a chest, actually. Hey! And I mean, of course, a treasure chest, not, really a, not, a, live, not, a, not a man-made sternum. Get stabbed by uh, daggers. So it's, so it's in between us. So, so which means. Fuck it, 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 Fuck uh, 20 hits, yes. Rolf, it's, uh, got a, it's got a natural armor of 12. I thought it was like in the corner. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Get him. Murder it. 18 damage. 18 damage. <laughs> you can do 18 damage, I can do 18 damage. Uh, I see, like for like. It's good. Okay, yeah, you, you stab forth with your rapier. Um, Fortunately, uh, the rapier doesn't actually stick to it as you, uh, you stab it, because that's actually only applies to creatures, so you're fine. Um, stabbing into it with the, with the rapier and managing to get your hand out of the way so that you don't uh, end up befalling the same fate as Neris. Um, the tongue just wa waves around this purple, like, slobbering, just very unpleasant uh, 
almost touches you, you manage to move out of the way as it uh, as it recoils from your uh, from your strike. Next, uh, Neris. And I still have the minus, right? The yes, you minus have minus two. minus two. Yeah. yeah. Two. Well, you guys tell me how it applies because I'm Every, still everything. Crazy. Okay, everything. Um, <laughs> Pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna um, do something. Yeah. Okay. Hit it with your rest off. I mean, do what would Neris do? Yeah, I'd set it on fire, and I'm thinking the, where I'm facing, it should be fine to have to use burning hands without torching these guys. Am I correct? You are correct. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's like, "Well, come up and help." You can, you can funnel it. So, yeah, you can, you can aim it so that it doesn't yeah, hit these two. They're yeah. to my side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're close enough that they won't get. I would have thought for I could do like straight down. <laughs> yeah, or. or 19. You can get an angle anyway. I believe that hits. Yeah. A 19 will hit. Now, hang on, it's a burning hands you're doing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right. a deck save. Okay. It's a deck save. Hi, I'm back. Save. I can't remember. It's okay, you, it's okay. we'll get there. So, a deck save of uh, what's this save? 12. 12. Uh, Thanks for okay, well, it that. fails. It fails. So, yeah, roll 3d6 of fire damage. One, two, three. That's what I was going to say. That is the. Uh, 14, is that also the, the minus 2? No, okay. no, the damage 14. is a minus 2. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. 14. Uh, so 14 points of damage, nice. Um, so you two in the room, uh, you're used to this by now, seeing <laughs> Nerys sort of light up with fire and the glow in her eyes and flame. What you're not used to is, uh, as you cast the spell, that um, this bright light seems to come out from her, just her entire being, like an aura. It's also very hot, and then you look and you see that basically she's engulfed in flame around herself. Neris, can you roll a d4 for me, please? That sounds so cool. No, no, no. <laughs> d4. It is pretty cool. So murder. Yeah. So it, is, it is pretty cool, while simultaneously extremely hot. One. One. Okay, um, so all creatures within five feet of you take one point of fire damage. Well, that was a good low roll. Mm. Um, yeah. This is, a, this is a new feature for you. Hey. Oh, thank you. Doom. <laughs> Basically, whenever you cast a fire spell, you also catch fire, and then anything within oh. five feet of you will take a d4 of fire damage. I'm going to need to make some artwork of that. Yeah. Also, meanwhile... I'm going full Goku here. Yes. So, so she, you know, Neris was always a little bit on the sallow, creepy side before, but now he's like a totally different level, like demonic levels of... Always red fire and brimstone right now. Right. Always good when the phrase minimum safe distance applies to a party member. Yes. Random question. Yeah. Does it feel similar, like, uh, I'm lit damaged, on fire yeah. before by something? But you're uh-huh. up. Does it feel like it's the same type of fire? <laughs> mm, uh, it doesn't feel like a, a natural fire. This feels like nothing and that you've done before. And the same type of fire. I know what real fire feels like, and it felt magical before. Does it feel very similar? Type of magic. It feels like a magical fire, yes. But oh. the, the the although the present the it, there is something different about this. You're not entirely sure what it is. It's something that you haven't but seen is before. It's something in that I felt when I may have got unconscious one time. No, this is different, actually. No, no. <laughs> sorry, it's not. I can't, I can't give you that. I know what you're trying to do, but I can't give you that. I'm sorry. One point does not equal barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what happens. But you're suddenly like, why do I keep catching fire around Neris? What is this? Uh, okay, um, that's your go. So, uh, Leo, bring it your turn. Mm. Ow! Um, uh, uh, just get 10%. And I'm gonna just, um, 33, 10. Yell at the chest to oh, yeah. go away! <laughs> uh, go away! Go away! Uh, and I'll do that, you know, that thing in, in Lord of the Rings where, where, uh, what was it, Kate Blanchett? Was the weird elf face? Galadriel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Galadriel yeah. going anyway, evil. Yeah, that. All shall love me of despair. Instead of a dark lord, we'll have a queen! Like That's that. one. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I had, a, had a real moment there. So, okay. so, so just in case you didn't know, I DM, we got to kill the badge. Go. Um, yeah, the, the chest needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, wisdom saving throw. Easy How old the chest? How wise is this chest? Oh well, uh, not that wise. Got nine. Yo, uh, it is frightened. That's interesting. It is frightened. Yeah. Is that 
Is that a thing? Yeah. It, it means it, yeah, so it's now frightened. And that, which, which invocation is that? Is that an invocation? That is, no, that's my Fey Presence. Ah, Fey Presence. <laughs> uh, it has now got disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. And is it, as it's frightened, doesn't it have to use its move to move away from you? Is that correct? No, that is the spell Fear. Thank you. Yeah. It can't move closer to you, but well, it's, it's kind of it's it's actually kind of up against the wall anyway, so it can't really back off Sesame with three of you flanking it. So Sesame if anyone wants to make it magically enough that I stabbed like it, wrestle it, and she turned on fire. Yep. He turned scary, and I'm sitting there like. Well, the mimic also took a point of fire damage. Yeah, li- yeah. <laughs> uh, linear warriors, quadratic wizards kicked in real quick in this campaign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we 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 didn't hit level four. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
you might cause problems to your. Uh... Sam's just sitting there like, oh, there's magic around him. He's like, sword. Sword. <laughs> sword. Exactly. <laughs> I've got stuff on it. I've got stuff on it. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. My sword. Sword. Yeah. I love my sword. My sword's all I've got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just go to like my own. Shazam! No, it's uh, still just a. Doing any sword. bonus actions at all? Uh, no. No, okay, so uh, then we'll move over to Neris. So, as she realized you just singed her companions, she was like, whoa, whoa. Sick, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Actually, no. She remembers the cool. quite comforting, crunching sound of the rat bear bag. Mm. Rat bear bag! Rat bear bag. Rat bear bag. Um, and so she just takes like her staff. Can, does she need? She can use it with one hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that yeah. does. Today, it's a D6 rather than a D6. Okay. Yeah. So she's gonna take that. She doesn't know what else it does, and she's gonna whack. Uh, Go! I'm super thorough. I'm super thorough. Super, 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 super thorough. I killed that rat bear pack. Okay, yeah, make an attack. Roll. I got it. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. So oh. roll for damage. That's a D. Thirteen because it's minus two. But Thirteen it's does hit. Still hits. Yeah. Thirteen. So. Uh, so it's a D6 plus uh, whatever your dex mod. No, sorry, strength, strength. modifier. So, zero, strength. Strength. Just zero, yeah. so just a, just a D6 for damage. Yeah, shiny. I don't think the damage is reduced by two. No, it it shouldn't be. Six. Six. Excellent. A nice six. Good. Is it dead yet? Uh, no, um, but you you flack it on the head. It, it looks. You think for a moment as these two chest has a head. as these many eyes that uh, have popped out of the um, chest. These like red. Um, pupilless eyes have popped out from it. You think for a moment you might have dazed it as you hit it directly, like in between the eyes, if you like, in the middle of it. So, uh, has Nerys been attacked by my t shirt? Essentially, <laughs> yes. Uh, although we might save that for another time. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> hand me a stick. Okay, um, yeah, uh, yeah, shit, it on. is still. It's, no, no, I get it, I get it, you're I get still it, stuck it. to it, and yeah. it still seems to be writhing and <laughs> very much conscious at this time. Uh, Leo Brin. Okay. Last, last of the uh, the upstairs folk. Um, it... All the elves. I've just realised it's just the yeah. three elves, the yeah. half elves. And the, the elf. the conclave. Full elf and two half elves. So two elves. We were drawn to hit that to the half elf and one human. That magic. Let's get that wardrobe. That's, That's all about that wardrobe of magic. Yep. Leo Brin is is not going to get in any kind of contact with this. So uh, Elder Class, which I'm guessing is a disadvantage because we're in melee. Uh, since I'm flanking, counteract this advantage. Normal roll. What type? The advantage of us flanking could be a disadvantage for close range to counteract. Yes. Yo. That's a straight roll. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. That hits. Yo. Roll damage. We're good at hitting this thing. Can he roll above two? I just think yeah. no legs. Inanim- yeah. 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 Oh, yes. our, our accuracy against this inanimate object. Ten force damage. Ten force damage. damage. Describe to us how you destroy the mimic, Leo Red. I didn't die. I killed the thing. Yes. Yay! Yay! You, you um, would have got away damage free. Uh, yeah, the Everett will. Nasty. <laughs> the Everett will. That was a meaningful. Be scary. sort of like looking at the still currently scared mimic. And we'll just be like, ah, 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 and just, just blast it. And uh, I, I believe mimics a type of ooze, so I'm guessing it just sort of splatters when it dies. Is this scared versus scared? Um, so basically, I'm brave. Shut up. <laughs> with a forceful impact, um, hitting it with the with the eldritch blast, pushes it back, and you hear you hear a, you hear like a like as you push it. Like a neck broke or something like that, and immediately Nerus is free of it, and it just hits the the far wall and just splatters all along the wall. This acid sort of burning into the wall, and you're like, yeah. it's you very, turn the it's, bedroom into a Jackson Pollock painter. For one thing, yes, yes, the bedroom now looks like a dirt, it's now a very dirty bedroom. One, ah! I mean, you've seen many dirty bedrooms uh, in your in the last couple of days, okay. and this all is right. now another one. <laughs> <laughs> you are the cause of the dirtiness of this room. So, I killed it. The sand is done. that. Uh, sorry, sorry, you go. Do we, do I'm, we I'm, hear staring, I'm staring at that. Up to you. <laughs> I'm staring at, at the wall yes. and just, he's, he's to my to my right, just cast mending on the rough that I sent. Just, just like. <laughs> <laughs> the second oh. that's done, I'm just uh, going to so put a hand on <laughs> um, Do you have inspiration? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to put a hand on Nerys' shoulder and the over and I'm just going to pull them both back slightly away from the wardrobe and just going to be like, is that going to eat us? I don't. 
think so. It could explode. Okay. <laughs> Abjuration is a type of protection or healing or shielding yeah. spell. Cool. Can I get the three of you up there to make history checks for me, please? <laughs> Yeah. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. With a natural twenty. Sixteen. Sixteen. Looking at this ornately rich mahogany wood, um, ornately designed rich mahogany wood um, wardrobe, although it's covered in dust, um, you remember just for a moment. You think a fleeting look, and you think, what else could you call a wardrobe? And immediately you go, hang on, uh, is it cupboard? Uh, is it a dresser? Uh, an armoire? Uh, and then you remember that in the bar before you guys came down here exploring, you had heard from Elenia Matiz that apparently some adventures had been uh, had been in the bar, excited, looking for the armour of <laughs> no, invulnerability. leading today! <laughs> Looking for the armor of invulnerability. You thought it was you go. The armor. The armoire of invulnerability. You're leading today. <laughs> it's on fire. Um, does. Do you tell us? Uh, I'm gonna sign and open the cupboard. Or can I try? Is yeah, it? Is it's it not locked. Yeah, yeah, you can open it. I'm gonna open the cupboard. Have to be the old sound effect. It's boom, another boom. mimic! <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's mimic. aside from some plain clothing sort of neatly arranged inside, hanging up on hangers and so on, uh, you find you see tucked away in the back one particular item, baby blue, luxurious silk vest. Uh, with a silvery pattern resembling a cheerful sky. And this kind of brings your attention much more than the drab other stuff in the room in the wardrobe. Or the armor. A shirt. Uh, yeah, yeah, a, v- a vest shirt. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a novelty shirt at that. Like a, like a waistcoat vest, or like a string vest vest. Or like a string. Vest. It's like a it's like a string <laughs> vest, a very fashionable string vest. Um, we have some suggestions. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Pre- <laughs> Spurtle one. <laughs> <This> is, <laughs> is Nasty horse and sponge muncher. Fate dice. These Craig Lazarus, uh, is once again monopolising on the, the fate dice there. Double down, I like it. Nasty <laughs> horse. Uh, do, so we, do we get to pick? I'm going to try uh, and Drake? take this. Or is it randomly assigned? Yeah, you can take it. You can take it. And you, you, when you hold it in your hand, it's... Because I want nasty horse. <laughs> now, in, nasty horses. in your background, being uh, from, from the island um, Arista, nasty. The elves of the uh, of the Empire of Fallen Stars um, would wear um, silken. So silk was quite popular amongst uh, the the elven folk, um, but this is another <coughs> level of of soft. Sh- the, the sheen to it, the, the quality as you hold it. It's, this is uh, this is something else. This is clearly quite valuable. Um, are you putting it on? Or are you just holding it? Just hold. Um, not- Getting changed mid. Okay. <laughs> so you're like, just there, like feeling it. Like, your body. Yeah. 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 just like, oh, so soft. And you're like, uh, you're like, this could be on an advert for like bloody um, uh, toilet so toilet rolls. Like, oh, soft, soft, so soft, soft, soft. I'm so compelled to talk about this on. Triple velvet. My party. Uh, Nearest looks no, over to him and goes like, put it on. But I am going to ask Irvin. It's like, Irvin, is this the magic that you've sensed in the wardrobe? I don't know. Let's have a look. Now this one, no, this uh, the wardrobe is still giving off that abjuration magic. This is <coughs> giving off uh, illusion magic. Ah. I say this. Magic within magic. <laughs> magic within magic. It's a loon. I'm like, a wheel within a wheel. Never ending or beginning. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Does it feel soft to me? I was wondering if it was going to go under. But Does it, it feel uh, very soft to me as well? Oh, it, yeah. Oh, the quality. Oh. It's, magn- it's a magnificent... It resembles the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. Uh, so there's a bed and a bedside table, Silcon. Silcon. Um, the desk which is next to the chest, Silcon. and a wardrobe. Does the bedside table Silcon. have any kind of like, drawers and stuff? It has a drawer, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I'm going to go over to that and open the drawer. All right, open the drawer. And, and die! The door. So can you make a wisdom <laughs> set? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> This is, too, this is too easy, I can't do this. That's the new song from so Games to Grief. Stroke the furry wall. So, Every yes. Stroke the silky shirt. When, when life gives you a Jeffrey, stroke the furry wall. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I imagine it's um, you, such a good film. When you open it up, um, it's quite dusty. There's a couple of scrolls of parchment, and that's about it. Uh, I would like to take the scrolls of parchment. Okay, just a blank <coughs> parchment, oh, which would be, could be useful. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll take the parchment. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to ask the two main What are you two doing with this stuff? This. I'm not doing this. Oh, so I'm soft. Asking, like, so, illusion, is it giving... I don't know, put it on, and, and I'll tell you if you're invisible. <laughs> I'll put it on out. Visible? It's illusion magic. That catches substantial, but at least... How long would it take to like, take off my leather armor? It takes you a minute to take off your leather armor. I'm like... Nerys takes around. from like, the corner where I... It's like, ooh. Oh. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be... T- t- what's your, uh, awesome. uh, what's your strength score? Twelve. Twelve, okay. Well, you know, he's, he's not in bad shape. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Neris hasn't seen many other elves. <laughs> okay. It's gonna turn around me and I'm, I'm gonna put him off. <laughs> and so, well, he's a half elf, so he's slightly. Pulls out a notebook and starts just taller, writing stuff. Uh, than, than you are. Um, slightly buffer. Slightly buffer, slightly broad shouldered. Um, you can feel so free Neris to embellish this description. Is a teenager. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone to turn around. Or the right. other he's, a, he's, a, he's a swimmer. Beat red. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beat That's red. true. That is true. So I'm going to put a shirt well, we say on. Teenager, okay, we so you slip off your armour, uh, put on the shirt. Well, for an elf. Oh, for an elf? Oh, okay. no, no, she's still when, you put the sh- when you put the shirt on, you suddenly can... F- you f- you feel an essence come over you that you haven't, ha- haven't felt before. It's something that you <laughs> it's something that you personally have coveted but have not yet been able to wield. And uh, you uh, just put your put your hand out, just start waving it around, and suddenly in front of you appears uh, a, a projection of a um, of a merfolk just just on the ground, just it's not, it doesn't move, it's just an image. Do I know how I did that? You can cast Minor Illusion at will whilst wearing that. Ooh. That's what well, that does. And, a, and, a, and, your, and your like instinctual projection was uh, a merfolk. I like a small picture of one, because it can't be a living creature. Exactly, it can't move. So it's it's like a, it looks a like a picture. drawing, a mural. Yeah. A small drawing. Quite a lifelike <laughs> mural. <laughs> um, yeah, and so you do that. It has to be an object. Oh. And then suddenly, oh. you hear a familiar voice in your head. Oh, here we are. <laughs> uh, just a taste of what is to come, Seth. <coughs> if you stick with me, and together, I will give you more power than you can possibly imagine. They're both still very near short of me, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And they can't hear this. Yeah. I'm not going to respond well. That was very cool magic you did. Hmm? It's like, yes, I, I can do that. <laughs> but I couldn't before. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm I'm magic. just throw the silk shirt on you and be like, I'm just going to keep this on for a bit and just going to put my. Don't know if my jacket and hat. We haven't got I'm going to put my cloak back on. We haven't got any Venture Brothers fans. And my leather armor. I'm sorry, you love armor. While he's doing all that, she's got his back to all that. It's well worth it. Just narrow starts looking at her. You Venture Brothers guy? Because she has yeah. an oh, to look at it. So yeah, can yeah. we do an arcana check on it? Because it's Jefferson not know what it does. <laughs> oh, um, you need to spend an hour with it before you can attune to it to know what it does. Okay. So, so short rest. rest. Noodling with the, it. Uh, did, we find, did, we, did you find the source, the abjuration magic, while I was getting changed? I, I like, looks it, up from her staff, like staring at it. Is what? The, ward, the wardrobe. Oh, the wardrobe itself? Yes. This baby fits so much magic inside. And actually, as you uh, as you ta- as you tap the, uh, the tap it with, your, like with your hand, it just doesn't move. Like normally, like the amount of force you gave it, it yeah. might buffer a little bit. This doesn't at all. It's rigid. That's correct. I do have a plus two. Strength. I've had enough of touching things, so <laughs> if you don't mind, yeah. um, so can we like go? Doesn't move. Then, so. It seems impervious to harm. Challenge extended. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, Make an attack roll. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go down the ladder and tell them, uh, Brinkon and Mal, what we found. Oh, cool. what happened up there? It's like, uh, so, chests. Nothing? Alive. One tried to eat, uh, Neris again. 
Nerys was very it's cool and female. set fire to things. Yeah. And I killed a mimic. You also set fire to us. Yeah, Did totally. You know? I always do that. Um, Wait, when have you done it before? <laughs> what? Um, so many instances. Which uh, to pick? I don't know. I've been casting in front of you. That always happens. You've never lit us on fire before. And Hang on, wait, wait, I was... <laughs> Uh, I mean, no, no, they're all gonna drop it, together. No, no, no. no but no, fleeting never. look. Who is it? Can I insight yeah, fleeting check that? Fleeting look and Seth. Yeah. It was fleeting look and Seth. Can I? Can I insight check? You that? can insight check. Yeah, sure. Uh, what's your? I'll need you to roll a deception, and it's whoever wins out of the two. Damn it! <laughs> oh yeah, minus, no, you, yeah. minus two. Minus two. Uh, yeah. the... Oh well, that's still plus two it's for me. Still plus two. Yeah. So seventeen. <laughs> oh. I mean, she seems to be being perfectly honest with you. Um, I'm like, okay, don't let us on fire again, we're still hurt from the fight before. Um, I, at this at this point, um, your turquoise tiefling friend uh, strolls over with his uh, hammer over one shot. He goes, I mean, to be honest, um, I mean, I electrocuted you, since we're sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I remember being electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> and he just just looks at you with these people that. Okay. Are you Good still wearing the hat? No, I had left it back in the half reach. What what else were you wearing that's not you? I'm um, wearing the just the cloak. Well, I, okay, so I come over to him in the meantime to say I show me over to the mending on the cloak. <laughs> just and like, then show just me away. Off to a corner, and just <laughs> fixing all fire yeah, damage. A couple of singes have gone off the cloak. Yeah. Thank, thank just you. just a little that. bit. Yeah. Hmm. Um, <laughs> given that uh, you just fought up a chest, there's also a wardrobe. It bit me. We can't. It move. actually bit me. No, I'm. Would I forget that we leave? Yeah, I don't know. Brooklyn goes. Bru- yeah, Brooklyn specifically. Goes, well, that's what you've just described is not even the top five weirdest things that have happened to us in the last 36 hours. But there is a wardrobe up there. It's given off a magic, <coughs> but we can't move it. Um, then it will still be here if we want to come back. Um, Look at Star Lord and Thor, you're copying the voice. Well, you were just doing the. You were doing the. Heal me up. It, it bit me pretty <laughs> hard. Oh, I would. Uh, and it but it's so appropriate for Seth. It's yeah. really yeah. 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 I would advocate we go back to uh, the bar and maybe take a rest, and uh, we'll see how you uh, stand after that. Hmm? Hopefully, stand by the time you get out. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um. Before the party leaves, Brucom gonna try Ben being the short one, mm-hmm. he's got a more of a Yeah, he's got a different perspective on things. Oh yes, yes, quite quite. So quite, he's literally. gonna do a quick scan of the sort of you know, the skirting board equivalent in the in the lab. <laughs> the, the minor details. Yes, yeah. of course. Uh, make a uh is this perception or investigation is your choice. But are we up in the room now or or against you? Downstairs, you, you guys are back. So you've gone you've gone up the ladder to the bedroom, haven't you? Is that right? You? Or you did the laboratory? No, they all come. They, everyone we else came down. They came down. So they're still the laboratory. In, the, in the lab. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, perception is going to be the uh, order of the day. Here, I was thinking order of the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, Just oh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. All right. Um. So, uh, in what addition, what do I perceive? <laughs> what do you perceive? Um. Bing. You. S- <laughs> Unlike the others who seem to have missed this, the rubble where the rat bear pig came from on the opposite side of the... Uh, you just start, start scavenging around there as you yeah. notice uh, a glint of light from there uh, and you find one more health potion buried. Hey! hey. Swimming in health potions. Well, yeah, um, it's like, I think we should wake... Oh, I, would, thing up. I would uh, advocate we go upstairs and uh, not do it in his seat of power. Yes, do we want I to agree. do it with people around? Or oh, we can, uh, I'm sure we can get a room from, uh, Mr. Jackman. I feel we should ask him, because we could maybe get some answers about what that ritual was. He may have, so, if there's any consequences <laughs> to us later on. Oh, uh, agreed. Upstairs. But we may have to come back down here, so to ask him now and... And what if he's able to, what if he's booby-trapped at this place? So I, um... Kill him. I, I, what if I'm, he's booby trapped? Mm. What if we like ask him questions and then he bites down on something and I'm his not head touching explodes? Him. I'm not touching him. Uh, I'm gonna ask Nibbles. So Nibbles, do you know what that wardrobe is upstairs? Um, it's uh, 
I haven't had much time because I'm not normally allowed in there. But, um, the friend said it was magical. Um, yeah. Great recap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Impervious to harm or something like that. Yeah. Up to <laughs> resin magic. Really committing to this. Marble, it's, a, it's, Marble, it's, it's a wardrobe of protection. Hmm. That doesn't move. Uh, it's like a tank. Yes. No, do we know it didn't move? Yeah, oh, um, well, they tried to slap it and it didn't move. I'm going to try something actually. Can I, I'm going to ask Fleetie if he can come upstairs with me. Make persuasion check. <laughs> I did a mean and attempt. I'm <laughs> treating him like an NPC because that's appropriate. Yes. While he's doing that, can I read the latest Persuasion. comment? 23! Hey, bro. Okay. Yeah, read the latest comment. Yeah, so, <laughs> hashtag fake dice. All player spells and abilities have typos in their names which change their effects for a short time. Oh, God, Marta this one. Oh, can no. only cast ire spells. Yeah. And that shirt thing grants the ability to cast minor, M I N E R. Illusions at will. <laughs> Illusions of minus. <laughs> I, I quite enjoy um, Neris only casting fur spells. Pine <laughs> yeah. yeah. trees. trees. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, evergreens everywhere. Yeah. No, okay. Um, so like, burn the forest down. Brickon, Brickon can growing. make a lot of armed trucks. Everybody's a Wookiee. Just yeah. constantly uh, like, just with churning out the tricycles. With 23, um, he looks at you for a second. and then an arm stroke. Goes to his bag and pulls out the uh, this poster which you signed. And I look back up at you, down the post there. Sure. Yeah. Um, let's go. Cool. As we get to, as we go upstairs, and we say to him, it's like, can, can you move this wardrobe? Ask him if he can physically move it. Why can't you move it? I'm not strong enough. Oh, I see. Um, okay. Uh, he goes to make a, tries to shove it. Very well, he blows. He rolls badly. Very, oh, very God. Good. <laughs> oh, no. And headbutts it. Um... <laughs> Um, can, I, can I make a counter offer of muck flurry of blows? No. That's like two uh, extra letters. Is there still stuff inside it? But it there's still some clothes. Is it sorry, wearing a wolf costume? Just throw them like, on the bed or something. Okay. There's, um, I'm asking for getting the meme of the dog. Get in the wardrobe. No. no. I just want to see if you can move it from the inside, see if there's magic on the outside, like if you can affect it from the inside. <laughs> but you don't do magic, I do magic. Okay, do you want to go inside and see if you can do magic on it from the inside? Okay. Cool, so I guess it's the wardrobe. Clubs in the wardrobe. I'm going to close the doors. And that's the last we'll ever see a fleeting log. <laughs> um, is he able to move anything from the inside? Does it move anything from the inside? Does anything oh. happen? Um, it goes quiet. There's no movement from the outside. I'm not going to... Can you hear me from in there? <laughs> yes. I was really hoping it would just turn to uh, you, hear, you, uh, you hear it. Uh, yeah. Can you open the doors from the inside? Can you? Yeah. Oh. He doesn't, but he says yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so passive aggressive, I uh, thought. Cool, so nothing happened from this? Cool. I'll open the door and let him out. So you open the door, and in the time that he's been in there, he has fastened his legs to the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> To the to the to the beam and it's hanging from it, uh, and so you just see you open it and you just see his legs, and he's hello. Gonna, I close the doors again, and I'm going to go downstairs. Okay, you go downstairs, and he doesn't he doesn't follow you, so you just go down on your own. But somehow he's there. He's like when you get down, he's there. He's already there. Bleeding. I was, was kind of hoping he'd just go into it, and Arm would just shrink. I've just I know, been, um, I know, but I when have you got just... anything Yeah, I know. <laughs> wait, wait, if that happens, then Fleeting is invulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you wanted to It's a double edged sword. Oh, yeah, the other one's in the plates. closet. You have a plate, do you? <laughs> I don't want anything. I just watched the South Park. I mean, he wears robes, to be clear. Please tell me who's in the closet. I don't care, so that's fine. Yeah. So, uh,. Rukon gets very polite. Should we, uh, Barry of bowels? Yeah. Make our way out of here then. Well, that is what I've been saying for quite a while. <laughs> uh, uh, if we're ready, then let's go. Yes, we I would like to go. grab the Rat King, throw him over my shoulder, off we go. So you're heading back down the, the um, steps where you came in that secret entrance? Can I, yeah. can I follow yes. behind him and pick up a handful of pebbles? And as he's walking, I want to throw a pebble at the Rat King's head to try and wake him up. Okay, you can make an attack roll. <laughs> because the racking is technically over my shoulder, 
face to, uh, well, head to, you know what, never mind. Head to, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, head would be behind you, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fireman's lift style. Yeah, yeah. Fireman's yeah. lift. Uh, does he get flanking uh, bonus on this? Uh, <laughs> no, but you get advantage because he's unconscious, so he can't really move out of the way, but um, it's only because uh, uh, Malar's moving. 23. 23, okay, you I strike just, him on... I throw a light pebble at him to try and... It hits him, Kind yeah. of stir him up from unconsciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no! What's well, he not doing? It looks oh. like he's woken up. We should, maybe we should question him here before we go anywhere. You hear a you, you hear a you hear a voice from up in uh, up in the up the trap door, and pleasing looks head pokes down. He goes, "Guys, there's a door up here, you know." Um, I, what I'd like to do in the moment, because this thing's woken up, mm-hmm. grab the legs no. and just flip and slam him onto the floor to try and knock him out. Okie dokie. Yeah, make an attack roll. Uh, I so knew you were going to do that. Maris is yeah. watching this. Oh, oh, this right. just just one I saw that rock yeah. from 1 to 19. Just leaning on her staff, she's, she saw the shag and she's like, I'm not coming anywhere near this. 21. Come on, hits, yeah, yeah. Roll, roll, um, this would be a d4. In fact, it doesn't matter because he has one hit point because he just revives, so you knock him out. I would like to just make sure he's still okay, but. Malar yeah. discovers the wrestler in the Oh, that, that, that was a close one. No, we should, uh, we should uh, expedite this. Uh, Mr. Mr. Fleeting, where does that uh, door go? I don't know, I haven't been through it. Well, mm, check. Can the go through it? I think I'll I'll go up and help him. <laughs> he's a check something. If yeah. I hadn't helped Seth, he'd be. Yeah. In it occurs to Brucon he's not actually been up there, so he sw- he he nips up well, the ladder as well. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. You might not have gone up. That's true. And then Seth would be solo, opening the chest. Ten HP. Um, so you go up there, uh, and Fleeting's so, yeah. just You're looking up, up and you can down. see Fleeting look has gone through uh, the stone door um, and seems to be on some kind of uh, carved bridge on the other side. And he seems to be looking around at the uh, uh, at the walls around him, um, which are out of your eye line at this point, looking through the door. And you can just see him just looking around like hmm. Anyone else up there? Yeah? So you uh, see the uh, same thing? I'm going to stay quite far. Backland, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just follow for the rear and check as we go, see if we've missed anything. No, okay. Uh, fleeting? Yeah. What are you seeing? Oh, um. Well, thank you for asking. Um. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh. I think this is the demon door. It doesn't uh-huh. say demon on it. No, 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 it just looks like a demon. Oh. Okay. You know, I like will, me, but worse. <laughs> I will walk over to him to have a look. Okay, so when you walk over to him, you see that there's these fresco paintings uh, lining the, the walls opposite the bridge. Uh, <coughs> and, the, and the door that you've gone through, you can see there's... Um, it, the whole of the door takes on... Uh, it's made it, like a mural into the shape of a Baylor's face. And where the jaw is um, on the centre of the door is... Um, it's an open maw, the mouth, and uh, there's a purplish um, liquid that's uh, just, there seems to be some residue left inside its mouth. That's, wait, that's what we just came through? That's what we just came through, yeah. Um, so it wasn't on the side that you came yeah, through, it's yeah, on yeah. the other side of the door. There is something purple dripping down. Yeah. Dripping, uh, it's, it looks like it, it's dried up now, but it was dripping from that, from the maw. Okay. Yeah, it's not a nice that's, side. Sorry, can I just double it. check? So the the door that Fleeting looks just gone through was the and demon just door. Gone through yes, well. yeah, exactly. Okay. You've gone through the. You've basically gone the back way through. You found yeah. the the loophole yeah. in the demon door, which is you don't have to put the thing in if you go in the reverse yeah, way. Yeah, it's true. Well, uh, one moment. Ding. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna use it, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's literally the most yeah. effective. It really is. Faster yeah. ever. Okay, so. Uh, Doing your detect magic around yeah. the vicinity. Yeah. Like necromantic yeah. energy coming from. Ne- yeah, it's called necromancy. Yeah. Coming from the paintings along the walls. Uh, and the door itself uh, has a. It's magical. It's not something that you can place currently. You're not sure what it is, but it's ancient. <coughs> Okay. It's very well, old magic you're not familiar with. That is old and creepy all along here. Um, uh, 
But uh, I guess this is. Wait. What was the thing about the demon door? I've missed several sessions. Um, so, <laughs> so the, they gathered purple lotus flowers, which apparently Nibble said were had to be offered to the demon right. door to go through. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure entirely how, because he never did it himself. Oh. But so there is then further away from the door a, a passage continuing onwards. Yeah. Cool. Uh, these murals. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm just going to go have a look at these murals. So you can't actually reach them from here oh. because of the bridge. Um, oh. It's just a, a long drop either side. You can't see the bottom. That's how far down it is. Yikes. Um, but the bridge is only 10 feet wide. Um, and it's only about 15 feet long before you get back onto solid ground. So it's not particularly <coughs> long, but uh, um, yeah, you can't interact with those paintings. You maybe look at them from here. Unless you have some way of flying over to them or something like that. Climbing Oop. kit. Are they. Are they um, is it like painted on, carved into the surface? What, yeah, it looks like the stone. Three dimensional, are we? So, um, th- these fre- they're fresco paintings, so it, the images are obviously 2D on them. It's like the wood, the wood, the stone, sorry, has been carved to be a very smooth surface. Mm. Um, it's essentially like being painted onto concrete or something. So, no, no obvious handholds, is the. No obvious handholds, no. Mm. Um, it, underneath them is mottled natural rock. Um. Well, I guess this is the way we were meant to come in. Um, well, I, I don't think we were meant to come in at all, but I think this is the official entrance that he, uh, that, that our friend the Rat King probably used. Cool. Do we continue onwards to adventure? Uh, I mean, we know what's on the other side of the door. I, I mean, the long, the long, the, the way, the other way, the way we haven't been. We've been both ways. This is, we have, oh, that, yeah, this is the only way you haven't been. Oh, uh, oh so we've already been to the door. We've been, so you, uh, have, you haven't been to the door this been way. Here, but very yeah. briefly, we found a prisoner in this part, and uh, so we took him. But we've yeah. not examined it, we've literally just been here, saw as a prisoner, and then got him out. Yeah, mm. Rim was unconscious and I haven't mixed <coughs> Cool. You were, you were guarding the door. Cool. There's the shortcut here then. Is the rest of us in the hole mode? Sure. Uh, Brookon, Brookon sort of scurries back and p- pokes his head down the trap door and says, We found the other side of the demon door. We can leave this way. It's probably quicker. Oh, uh, thank you. Potentially uh, safer as well. Mr. Seth? Do you have a hand getting up with oh, the... Oh, no, I should be, uh, I should be fine. Uh, you I first, just... in case he falls off. I got... I got this, the ladder mm-hmm. into the room. Yep. Through the door. Yep. Onto the bridge. Yep. Back to the crossroads. Yep. Oh, Back towards the pod. Are you all, you all, I assume you're all uh, doing this. Yeah. Yep. Um, at the crossroads. I don't so, know, uh, follow, but when we get to this room, can we do a check in it? Because that's where you found the prisoner, but we didn't really look in it. So. Yeah, okay. You can you can do an can, investigation can check. I, can I do yeah, an investigation check? Because it was the uh, uh, dragonborn that spoke. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. Can, you can you can you can go look as well. That's fine. I feel I feel like while they're doing this, Fleeting looks goes. Actually, while we've got a moment. um do any of you know what the collective noun for a group of demons would be? Just on the subject. Let me uh, consider my... Uh, uh, not not really my area. Uh, Can I remember? Yeah. <laughs> Was this investigation or perception? Demons? Investigation. Okay, so 11. 11. Can we make a something <laughs> no. check? That's including D-5. Ask me about gods, not demons. What's a group of gods called? Okay, so uh, what did you, what did you get, um, um, Seth? Yeah. What'd you get for the investigation uh, check? Yeah. What'd you get for the investigation check, what'd you get? Uh, An incursion of demons? Natural one. I turn blind. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when you hear Fleeting Look um, asking about a group of demons, you just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> you get Natural completely put off. Roll. Yeah, you just roll your eyes and completely forget what you were doing because you're just so takes, annoyed. Brookon takes it totally seriously and he's just like, oh my god, no, what would have? Okay, so, but Neris on the other hand, uh, looking in the rest of the room, so aside from the um, the manacles that have been um, hammered into the walls um, and the various sort of torture implements along one wooden table, uh, what you do find, uh, there's a wooden barrel um, with, uh, it looks like some robes have been tossed into it and exam- rummaging through it, you also find a, a coin purse and in it you find 13 gold, 23 silver and 33 copper pieces. Oh dear. Uh, as well as some bloodstained clothing. How many coppers? 
33. and silver was what, sorry? 23 yeah. and 13 gold. 23 silver, 13 gold. Brucon, as the rear guard, yes. uh, just, just out of curiosity, sort of like pokes his head over the, the drop. Because the, 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 the bridge, uh, yep, the demon yep. door had a big drop on. <laughs> Anything visible? Um, just the walls, you can't see the bottom. Right. It's too far down. It's just a long ass way. It's a long ass way. And murals. As far as the eye could see, just uh, they're just along oh, the. You're um, holding on to the wall. Just, just only on the bit. Just, yeah, just up yeah, high, yeah, and yeah. then it's just yeah. mottled wall okay. after that. Okay. Uh, maybe ten feet up from the bridge, maybe. The, the, yeah. Along that entire area. Don't know about that. You only know Okay. Um, yeah. So you've done that. So is there anything else you wanted to do before you head on out? I'm gonna like. With your prisoner. Pretend to rummage around just a little bit longer, well, as everyone starts to make their way. I'm like, catch up. I'm just gonna. Double check to see if there's anything we've missed for the, for the prisoners. Be, be careful, Mr. Seth, and I'll pop guard on you. Okay. Don't All forget. Right. As I start to leave, I'm going to follow behind just out of earshot. <laughs> Make sure you poke boxes with a sword before you Can just I put your hands on them. Quick break, yeah, of course, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do that very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. stroke before you poke. So as they all go out of earshot, Always I'm just get permission say before you touch anything. To myself, your racking didn't seem. Boy, he had that much power. <laughs> he was the uh, best of a bad lot, Seth. He didn't have potential, not like you. <laughs> the, the moment, man, the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I lost it. That was in character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, so much potential. Mm. And what would I need to do for this power that we've not seen yet? You must prove your worth. I know there is potential, but I've yet to see it, Seth. Your rack, the rat king had no value. His experiments, potions, the rats. What did you come up? What did you give him? The rats were not my gift to him. I offered my gifts, but he was not interested. So. I did what I must do to preserve this place. So there's no demonstration of your powers yet then? <laughs> oh, I love it when you bluff. You know my powers. How much, how powerful I can be. You wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of me, Seth. Not when we can be such good friends. And I'm going to take the medallion off. I'm going to start walking. I'm going to, be, I'm going to flip it in my hands and catch it. But you have to show me this power for it. Make a persuasion check. Fudge. <laughs> So I was just saying, like, fail it horribly. Uh, wait, fail it horribly. Yeah. Didn't I 13. Go. After a moment of silence, you think, oh, is he not going to answer? Maybe we'll just continue on. And then suddenly you feel a uh, presence come over you. Can you make a charisma saving throw? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Got uh, 20. Uh, 20. Ooh. Yes! Dang. I'm uh, so used to things going horribly wrong. That well, just wait. Like clenching. <laughs> yeah, hang on. He ain't done yet. <laughs> yeah. That's some dice on the other side. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Oh, oh dude, I'm on like 9 HP, dude. No, this. Alright. You are out of earshot of everybody yeah. else. It doesn't need mm-hmm. to be damaged. He can just take over your body and walk you off somewhere else. That's true. Yeah, before, before you do a near us into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it wouldn't be 18 set. points of psychic damage, but you succeeded, so it's half to nine, which is exactly your HP. So my down so you're un- you are down to zero. But, oh. but Brucon uh. hung back <laughs> <laughs> to look in, to am look I, around the walls in the chamber. Huh? Yeah, you're I'm unconscious. You just yeah. And, and wow. So so Brucon's just kind of sauntering back and just pops his head around and goes, "Hello there, sir. Are you a- oh my." Oh my word! <laughs> um, I would say uh, you, the rest of you, would need to make a collective perception check. Just to, first of all, just to see 
how long it takes you to notice he's missing before you go back for him, and also to see if you hear him collapse, because it's an echoey cavern. How about 19? 19. Uh, that is 14. 14. 14. Not as good. Okay. 10. 10. Oh, fleeting look. <laughs> oh, okay, 17 on the dice. <laughs> okay, so that means the majority did pass, so yes. Um, as you're walking off, you do hear <gasps> um, echo through the, the chamber, and yes, you go back and you find your uh, friend Seth. His normal grey um, complexion is now a much colder uh, white, and he seems rigid in place on the ground with a horrified look to match his horrifying scar on his head. Rigid in place on the ground, holding the dalian in his hand. Just remembered how we got uh, that scar. Shit. I've got it in my hands. And we're going to take a quick break. Yeah. Yay.
Doggy bag. And we are back and the doggy bag. Uh, okay, so um, so just a reminder before we continue, um, so our current competition, um, our first ever giveaway here on the channel, for your chance to win uh, free D&D badges such as the Dungeon Master badge and uh, <laughs> the DM killed my character and all I got was this lousy badge, plus more. Um, there's okay, a, fact, a set of three badges position. to give away. I also got more damage. Yeah, <laughs> set of three. You want more damage? There you go. Um, set of three badges for you to win, completely free. All you got to do is follow the channel and uh, comment with badge or badges on the chat. Remember to get the permission of the person who <laughs> pays the phone bill before calling in. Terms and conditions yeah. apply. Terms and conditions do apply. Actually, the terms, full terms and conditions actually are uh, on the, the Twitch page. If you scroll down, to the, the, literally being if the winner doesn't give us their details within 48 hours, we're going to offer it to someone else. I think that's fair. Yeah. Also, you can enter via social media, and I'll be giving the details of that tomorrow. So uh, keep an eye on that. Our social media is at Slice and D6. Anyway, back to uh, this moment. Uh, so the, the group have scampered back. Perfect moment. Towards uh, the lifeless, uh, rigid, but somehow stable corpse. Uh, yeah. Corpse? Sorry. <laughs> body. <laughs> I mean, a corpse is pretty stable. Yeah. The rigid body of uh It took us more than Seth. three rounds to get to his body. He's dead. <laughs> Uh, it's, no, you, it's okay. He, he, he wasn't. Um, he wasn't actually dying at any point. But yes, if he had been dying, you probably wouldn't have got to him. But as he was not, as this wasn't a demonstration to kill you, it was a demonstration to knock you out. You don't die, but you are uh, currently in a petrified state and unconscious. Literally petrified. I mean, Essentially, in the, the petrification, you know, rigid, like, rigor mortis. Uh, okay, not, not, not turned to stone. Not what, turned to stone, no. What the would have happened? Not the, condi he, not the condition. If he wouldn't have succeeded in the saving throw, full damage. Oh, uh, ironically, if he hadn't... Really? Um, oh, that amount of damage, I don't... 18 wouldn't have been enough to kill him outright, so he yeah. would have been okay. But, um... Had, okay. Ironically, if you had not done very well on the persuasion check, he wouldn't have demonstrated anything to you. He would have just left. Him. There we are. Um, you live and you learn. Um, you persuaded him, so he did it. Um, okay, so you find him lifeless on the floor, and uh, you, this is further demonstrated when Nibbles. Uh, now, you see, uh, Nibbles is still invisible, but but uh, you do see um, Seth's uh, coat. Sort of ru ripple as something seems to move out of it. Yeah, what's happened? Where's on the floor? And you can all hear this um, telepathically. Oh, um, there's uh, something in his hand. I'm gonna stomp over to Seth's body. Is he alive? Yeah, he's stable. He's breathing. Uh, I poke he's him. Very. He's. He doesn't. He doesn't even flinch. He's very oh, still. I use my channel divinity to dump seven points of health into you, and I will give you eight points of health. Yeah. Good no, call. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm not giving you that. You, uh. You fucking mug. <laughs> <laughs> what the this is my channel divinity. I, it doesn't work like that. Uh, yeah, uh, interestingly, Seth, you only get four points of healing back mm. at this moment. Um, do, how obvious is, is the medallion? Is he like this? Or the is medallion is, is very obvious because the way he's fallen unconscious, he has it actually up in his hand like that. <coughs> So, so he's lying oh, down there. I thought I was like lying on the yeah. ground. It's just like in my hand. Yeah. It's almost, Someone. it's almost as if it's trying to demonstrate the power has come from the medallion. Anyway, yeah. So, somewhere mysteriously, the words appear have oh, appeared on the wall. 
the medallion did it. <laughs> I'm mean, an you arrow pointing. You feel this? I'm awake, aren't I? I would like to. Yeah, I'd like as, to. As I wake up, I'm going to stand up with the medallion. Yeah, you just you, you, as soon as, as soon as you um, heal him, you your um, yeah. feeling comes back, and you just uh, in, instinctively just wrap your hand around yeah. the. Seth, what's that? The alien. Yeah, Mr. Seth, what happened? I uh, found a scroll when I was searching in the thing before we were leaving. I was going to bring it back because we were coming. It just lit on fire when I went to go open it and I just blacked out. He was talking to himself. Ha! <laughs> oh, I'm um, a snitch. What? <laughs> rat. <laughs> I mean, you dirty rat. I mean, he's a rat. He's a literal uh, rat. Also, when we walked in, you were like holding a medallion like this. Oh, um, oh we, found, we found that. Yeah. Near the uh, yeah. temple. Not cool, Neville. Don't be a grass. I showed you that. We found it the other day. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Inside chair. Mm. Ah. But yeah, I think the, the scrolls got and started <laughs> lighting on fire as I was. Uh, oh, different. shit. The tech medallion. The tech medallion. Oh, as he says, I'm going to. The medallion's already back in the pocket. Hopefully, it begins. Okay, so detect magic will yeah. go through a layer of fabric. It's true. Uh, magic fabric. So you can definitely see, uh, again, like the demon door, uh, an ancient magic, but you cannot pinpoint its origin or um, uh, school. Um, um, but you feel a bit uneasy looking at it. it. When you look directly at it, even with your detect magic through through the lens of that, mm. like, me, 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 you're still like, mm. I will, it still I will gives you a chill looking at it. Gesture everyone away from Seth. Well, uh, Mr. Leobrin, what's the uh, problem here? His, his medallion is pinging the same as the demon door. Uh, Mr. Seth, your medallion, uh, has that been, uh, does that feel? Different? No, we've had it this whole time since we came into that first room with the uh, statues. So I probably remember Seth telling me that he was hearing voices, right? Oh, yep. Fucking... <laughs> if you remember it, he remembers it. Uh, so, Mr. Seth, um, uh, voices. Uh, are you still hearing those voices? No, we only heard them in the statue room. Same. I think we thought they were the same voices you heard when you got the lotus flowers. That's entirely possible. Yeah, we, we were hearing voices when we went to the rooms related to the, the rituals we seem to find. Mm. <laughs> can I insight check him? Sure. Oh, can I? You got to dis- you got to do a deception uh, yeah. check. Can I insight check him because I know that he's got an evil thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can you can join in this. So it's again, it's again to be against his deception. Everybody insight. Twelve. Eleven. Eight. Yes. Eighteen. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So Leobrin, you can tell that uh, your uh, your rogue party member is not being entirely sorry. Your rogue countryman, being that mm. he's also a half elf uh, yeah. ish, is uh, We're not all related. No, clearly you're not. I mean, you guys look very different. Um, <laughs> what the hell, man? But you're both half, even have a rough. You're both half elf. That much is true. Anyway. Um, Yes, stereotyping. looking at your countrymen there. Hardcore stereotyping. Uh, hardcore stereotyping. The rogue is not being honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I like. Uh, I think we should implement immediately Drake Lazarus' suggestion of a uh, letter change. Yes, I like his most recent it's suggestion. Magic. Detect magic, <laughs> defect magic, or defect magic, more like. Hashtag it all night. Yeah, I, 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 want you, I want you to respond to what he's just done. What did he do? This is inside check. Yeah, so, man, so uh, you can tell that he's not being honest at all. I, I will look again at the other party members and be like... <laughs> oh, uh, mm, uh, mm. Does it look like my um, dice? Oh! No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, that's uh, that's a completely different school of magic. Yeah. That, that's just harmless. Mr. Seth, I, uh, I think you should give that medallion to me. I just for a little while. That's a good idea. Seth. <laughs> Come on now. Oh. You know. <laughs> the voice is like, no. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't you do it. <laughs> the voice is rolling. You know what happens if you do it. <laughs> I mean. We took this from a temple because it was the temple for. Oh, Mr. Seth. Can I do a history check where I remember like a god of. Are you sure? The sea from my hometown. Oh, that? sure, yeah, okay. Make a history check. Uh, Mallory's not sure what. Pretty self confident. The gods are on his side at the moment. 
can't remember exactly. The sea guy. When you, you're thinking about it, um, there was a god of the merfolk. Can't remember what it looks like. But what you do remember is what you have recently encountered here. You remember the Rat King going on about the old one, the old voice, and uh, you also remember the Octoma statue where you found the medallion. Uh, this is the medallion for the uh, old god <coughs> Arista. Oh, wow. That's where you're from. Shut up. Okay, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you should maybe uh, hand it over. It's just an old relic from... Where you, from, That's from fine. Where I just want to. Uh, Would you like me to deal with out. him, Seth? Oh shit! It's like no, no, no. That's the <laughs> Yeah, I got that. <laughs> it's yeah. like yeah, we f- we're fine. We should head out. We're pretty injured now. Um, mm, the medallion. If you would, why uh, hold on to it if it's just an old relic? Because of the gods that my people will let play to. I'm uh, I'm a scholar. I'm from the. Afrin uh, University, I would uh, uh, relish the opportunity to inspect such a, an artifact. Guys, can we inspect uh, things upstairs? As can I go to the I'm going to trip on the floor, like just over my feet. Zach's standing on purpose, yeah. Yeah, and like, in my hand, oh. I'm going to slide it down my sleeve, and I'm going to try and pick up a big rock at the same time. <laughs> Okay. So as I, as I fall down, basically, the, basically I fall down, so I've got my cloak over yeah, my yeah, hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dalian's going down the sleeve. Famously clumsy row. So Picking up no, a stone. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to cast Minor Illusion on it to make it look like the medallion. <laughs> okay. Um, Sneaky so son of a bitch. So I've, I've tried to, so I'm going to use my, my passive perception while so yeah. I'm moving over to try and find yep, yep. a stone that looks medallion sized. So what I'm going to do is, uh, so use your passive perception. Yeah, there are a few rocks about the right side. Yeah, so that. I just want to trip over my feet to yeah. land near one. So for so that, as I stand up, I'm going to take one and cast minor illusion on so it. So this will be in two phases. Uh, so there'll be two rolls. Yep. First of all, performance. Yep. Second, sleight of hand. Cool. Cool. Performance two. Do the trip and make yep. it look real rather than just tote it. Oh no, I'm falling. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, performance. Curse this terrible chain of events that uh, has brought me 17. to this point. 17, and this will be against your passive insight. Um, that will be 13. 13, okay. And um, what's the other yeah. one? Slight hand. Slight hand, yeah. Cool. And this will be against your passive perception. Uh, 15. 13. Okay, so you uh, oh, fall, fall down onto the floor, make a big show of it, your coat billows up, and in that time, yeah. medallion up. You do the minor illusion. Yeah. But to do the spell, obviously, you have to. It's, so, soma- it's somatic and uh, material. So, so attractive. Quite do, 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 just possible. Yeah, to yourself. And then. Wait, do I need to do the somatic past the thing? Yeah. Oh, so I, do, I know them now, the somatic past. Yeah, you, you did oh, okay. it instinctively oh, okay, when you were cool. wearing the, cool. the vest, but yeah, you can cast it on, so, yeah, onto the, onto that onto the item, yeah. Coughing and standing up, sort of thing. So, sorry, a bit weak from that explosion and scroll. Uh, I'll pass it to him. Mm. Okay, so. So for all as intents and purposes, what you see look looks as, like the medallion. As, yeah. as, a, as a minor it's a bit, caster, yes. as far as I'm aware, it can't move. No, but, but I, I'm aware of this, but because it, I'm going to say because it's attached to the item, like it's if it's cast on the item, as if, if you cast it on the earth and the earth moved, yeah. would the earth move with it or not? That's why I keep really hard with this. But that's uh, like saying I could cast a minor illusion on my face and, and have yeah. a different face. Yeah. Yeah, but then of course, as soon as you move your face, it the would mask. then be revealed that it's an illusion because it doesn't move. Because you walk through it, because you yeah. can't physically interact with it. Exactly. This, this, um, it looks like the part. So I was going to say, thematically, thematic purposes, this works. It looks like the medallion. When you hold it, it's not metal like you're expecting. It feels like a rock. I, I, I just want to make sure that number one, I picked up this medallion from him. Yeah. Look at it, medallion, pocket. Uh, I would like to inspect that upstairs. Miss Nerys, I think you're right. I think we should head to the bar. Uh, come, Mr. Seth. Uh, maybe you'd like to lead the way. Yeah, no problem. So and, I'm going to lead the way out. And you'll continue on your merry way. <laughs> this I mean, okay, you, saw which away with that. you saw what, what pocket I put it in. I know. So, yeah. Yeah. This so, you so know my next show to pull. <laughs> so well Nebrin made. wants to chat with Nibbles. <laughs> so you, uh, I'm just... You know, because it's, it's you know midnight. Ambience. It's a bit of ambiance. It's getting late, so you get back into the cellar. 
uh, without further incident. Uh, and you can hear that the punters are starting to turn out for the evening. Last orders, it seems, has already been called. Um, are you he- are you going to be heading upstairs or on the way out, or I'm what do you want to do? Just sit down for a <coughs> quick drink to celebrate the fact that we go to. No, we have a beer. prisoner. Oh yeah. Do we want to go upstairs? Oh, no, yeah, we go upstairs. <laughs> 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 well, <I'm here laughs> we <laughs> upstairs, are we dealing with this guy in the cellar. Oh yeah, we're not shooting kind of thing through. We'll deal with him in the cellar. Yes, yeah, so you've got the Rat King with you, unconscious. Yeah. Uh, is there something we can put him down on, like the functions as a chair? Um, there's a whole stack of barrels and stuff, which you know, okay. and some straw and yep. bedding stuff, because you guys were sleeping down there. Lumping down on that. So, yeah, just down there. Neris goes and slumps against the wall nearby, just tired. With your staff. This is your staff new staff. Is, I'm still holding on to it. Yeah. Uh, is your teenager slouch? Yes. Oh, but not dread- like, oh my god, just, just yeah. tired. If we uh, let him wake up naturally on his own, would that take about an hour? Uh, yeah, yeah, if it will take <laughs> it, will, it will take an hour, possibly more. Short rest. Um, one d four hours, but yeah, short rest. That's what I just did. Fleeting <laughs> has not had uh, any damage to him, has he? Uh, he, I think he did last time. He could probably do with a short rest too. Rugon would be very cool with a short rest. Excellent. Yeah, uh, cool. If we've got a prisoner in here, I'm <laughs> yeah. going to go up to Jack. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to go find Jack up in the Cool, so you start heading up the stairs. Oh, sir. Would you get some drinks? Yeah, we'll get some drinks. Oh, thank you. Um, he's the wanted guy. I'm not going too far. We did this before, going upstairs to grab people. I'm trying to just wave to him at the bar. With your uh, passive perception of 15 mm-hmm. um, you can he- you can hear um, you hear amongst the voices upstairs of the patrons there's one voice in particular that stands out to you you hear mid conversation not Rudy, not Rudy look not Mr. Winklebottom for the last time Rudy. okay you're the only inn in this area they gotta come through here alright <laughs> that's, that's, that's a new twist <laughs> oh, the <laughs> Have you seen a seven foot Loxodon priest guy, a gray looking half elf like uh, with a with a hat, with a tricorn hat, uh, a half elf with a with a big ruff on, kind of poncy looking, uh, a, a dwarf with uh, these kind of these kind of robes in a business suit. Uh, <laughs> Always be branding, baby. I'm gonna minor illusion next to his ears. Shit, I'm gonna have to bring a jacket. (laughs) A a teenage, uh, a teenage, a teenage elf with like, uh, like fire in her eyes, like likes the pyrotechnics, and uh, the most handsomest turquoise tiefling you ever did see. Look, for the last time, I, I, I. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen any of them round here. That's not my, any of my business, thank you. I'm afraid we might have got your wires crossed, Miss Shallows. Well, I ain't going nowhere till I see him come here, so, uh... I guess I'd better order another drink. Another Flaming Jam Booker, please. It's Jack Booker. A fl- whatever, give me a drink. <laughs> Interrupt. You can interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> and um, enter. <laughs> and a minor illusion, uh, a voice, because you can minor illusion of your you own can voice. can, a right? sound, yes. Sound, next to him, just going, psst, right, right. You can do psst. You oh. can do, it's a sound, it's your oh, voice. You can do your voice. Do what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, so I'm going to do psst. Yeah, come on, turn around. Right. Yeah, all right. Right. That's, that's good. So, uh, is he looking to the right? What? <laughs> uh, I'm shaking. I'm to the right, right? Yes, yeah, you like peeking through the door. You are you are to the right of him, yes. So you're peeking yeah. th- you're peeking through the door, are you? Or are you just like open um, the door like open the door and I'm staying going to Jack. There you are. <laughs> consider this one on the house, my friend. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> Hello. Cool, over there, so how's everything going? We've uh taken care of the problems, but we may have brought one back with us. You brought a rat into a bar? 
Wasn't this what I ha- was this revenge because of that time in the cellar when I accidentally uh, pushed you down some stairs and one of the rats was it? No, I haven't done that yet. Oh. <laughs> but we haven't brought a rat here. Right. So what have you brought? What am I? Chop them off. Coming out of the corner. Just been run back that with you. Shut up, Nibbles. This is not the time. Who is that? Ignore the disembodied voices. Voices? I try to, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Can we we borrow your bouncer for a couple of hours? Grant? Well, um, I suppose we're turning out, so he's, um, will be relieved of duty shortly, yes. What did you want him for? We need to quickly rest from the injuries, but we want to make sure he doesn't wake up anytime soon. Just for it better to have someone watching him than leaving him by himself. Okay. Um, right, well, if you can give me a path route so just to get the last of the rabble out, <laughs> he should be free. Why you, you go, can you send... You were talking to a woman just then. Can you send her down? Yes, the halfling, yes. Send, send her away. We know her, we know her. She can help with... Situation. Oh, so, so she's not looking for you, um, she's for the reward. Us, but she can help us get rid of that reward. Oh, uh, well, uh, yes, uh, but mum's the word. <laughs> I know Neris will be short resting because she doesn't get anything <laughs> for it. You can heal. Oh, you, can. You, do heal. You, can, you can do hit yeah, dice to heal. Oh, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's why I wondered if, uh, fleet, if Fleeting was. Uninjured, because he doesn't get anything from short rest, but he took a hit. Uh, so yeah, um, you go back downstairs, um, and as the tavern begins to clear for the evening, um, a face you recognise pops their head around the door into the cellar. Um, the uh, the short bronze, but uh, the, uh, the short halfling, bronze skin, and very long. Uh, Black hair with some braids, and uh, biggest of all is probably the trench coat she's wearing. This big brown leather oh. trench coat. Collar popped. Collar popped up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Turns up, goes. Hey. <laughs> I've been looking for you guys for quite some time. What's been going on? Is this in the cellar? Yeah. I feel like he was going to do that before you said it. He's like, I can't do it now. I, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Oh. What's going on? Wise guys. Yeah. Oh, wise guy. Oh. Uh, no, we'll wait for the right moment for that. It's not, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I stopped. You guys leave quite a trail, let me tell you that. Well, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, you, oh, I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, what, what my articulate friend here is trying to say is that uh, situation, events sort of ran away from us a little. Uh, we've I, been... I saw you ran out of half rage pretty dang quickly. Yes, well, there, there, there was a small matter of the entire garrison coming after us. Yeah, there was that, yeah. I'm glad you guys got away. Uh, do you have the book? Oh, uh, The ledger? I, yes, I, uh, there you go. Uh, uh, we are, uh, somewhat, uh, at least, uh, some of us are, um, uh, of attention to the law. I put it, Seth. Can you, uh, as well. make this... Your situation uh, famous. go away since uh, uh, we did this on your uh, mm, request. Well, look, I, I can with this ledger, I should have the evidence to get any uh, charges against all of you dropped. But uh, his thing uh, had anything to do with me. I, I can, I got some contacts. I can look into it. But uh, oh, uh, how? Why are you, um, you wanted? Prejudice, racism. Very popular around here from the guards. Hmm. Does just... it say on the poster? <laughs> hmm? Does it What's say it on say? the poster, Seth's crimes? Uh, it says it's a fugitive. Oh, okay. Nearest I rolls her eyes at that. Mm. Like, mm. Not being wanted. <laughs> no, I don't Fucking know. Society. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I told you. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> no, that's that's society. It's more like, of course it's Seth. Provided, uh, provided, uh, provided this oh. gives us the evidence we need that says that, uh, that Pat Galride was hiring, uh, slaves. Then yeah, the charges should be dropped and he should be put away. He did a good thing here. I think I uh, promised you some uh, some gold. 
players, uh, right? Yeah. Is, that, is that right? Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So we're all sessions ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, will, I will say, I don't think he was hiring slaves, because that's kind of... <laughs> that's important. Oh, you know what I mean, wise guy. All right. <laughs> there it is. A hundred gold pieces. Yep, that's what it says here. Also, you do a little favor for me, I do a little favor for you. You know, you guys are uh, not so subtle with your leaving town shenanigans. Uh, your job. Yeah, work for subtle services. You know. <laughs> you got a problem with that? <laughs> no. Good. That was Good. the point. <laughs> you well, you don't want to see the point. Speaking of the point, how are you doing, handsome? He looks over at uh, that uh, a fleeting look. Who's like, um, I'm fine. Hi. You good? Okay. <laughs> and she just winks at him. Uh, so you did. You guys did me a favor. I, I did a little favor for you as well. As uh, you left a couple of things of yours uh, back at that cave. I got them more. I got them tacked up uh, right, out cave. front. You say cave. The horses. Yeah. I got them tacked out up front. What did you think I was talking The horses. What did you think I was talking about? It's fine. Right. I'm enjoying this so much. So much hope. We can buy you a new hat. You can. Yeah. I'm the same. <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe one hat. of the horses is wearing the hat. <laughs> maybe one of the horses ate the hat. Anyway, you, uh... Fuck out. So, joy. anyway. Anyways, I can, uh... I can I can look into yours uh, your crimes right if that's uh, that'll be helpful to you. Yes, yes they, please. <laughs> they pulled me off the street because no, I was a half elf. They put me in with a half a halfling and a dragonborn uh, when we were attacked by some rock creatures, which took the halfling. Right. Is that a thing? Oh, oh uh, arresting Mr. half elves? Seth, why were you arrested? Well, you know they've been arresting a lot of dragonborns, right? Because of the whole Burakuin Rachir war thing. The racist. Yeah. Yeah. But that's dragonborn, not elves. No, they've all they've also been uh, arresting those who've been helping uh, transport people across the border. So I don't know if your friend here was anything to do with that. Actually, no. I'm sure. You're right, I'm inside checking that. I'm sure I asked yeah, yeah, everyone about 17. slavery before, and everyone said yeah, no, no to slavery. Yeah, no, actually, you lie. <laughs> so, uh, no, no. well, anyways, I got yeah, some contacts. I can look into the, this. Uh, um, you guys can uh, can come by subtle services in morning ill if you're in the area, or uh, you know how. Or, or I can come here if I got some information for you. Or where where would be best? Where's subtle services? Morning ill, you know, just uh, past half rich. Innocent. No, Innocent. No, Innocent is the name of a character. Okay, then from history. Took, Innocent's took, rest was I, the I name. A... Innocent's rest was the name of the tavern in Halfridge. Uh, okay. Um, but it's Morning Ill is the name of the. Oh my God, that's miles away. No, we're not going there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Seth's special skin was cut off. He has that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... Um, I need to get to Hillburg, so if you could come meet us here, that'd be amazing. Is that where you guys are headed? Um. All right. If I find anything, I'll uh, make my way over to Hilberg. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> kind of feel like I've done you enough favors, but go on. We left a few things in half rage with the innkeeper. If you do come back, come by Hillsburg. <clears throat> could you collect them on your way? If you're going to warning side. No, make a persuasion check. <laughs> I've never asked for a natural 20. Oh, never. <laughs> two times before this. 15. Which makes it up to 20! Woo! Oh, Ooh, okay. Glad I didn't get rid of that medallion. There is a god. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's uh, extremely malevolent. It just got near 20. It killed sure. you earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> is it, could it be Nasty Horse? <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Okay. Thanks, Drake Gladsford. I mean, I could, uh, I could call in. Yeah, what did you leave? A blue jacket and a hat. And my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. 
ten gold pieces and I'll go get it for you. Fine. <laughs> All right. Press with me. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Uh, all right, so, uh, well, it's thanks, yes, for uh, your uh, escapades, am I right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it was real funny, yeah. Oh, uh, seemed very thank amused. you for your uh, efforts, Ms. Shadows, um, although I think this might be the uh, end point of our... Um... I was just thinking that my Loxodon companion, I... Uh, I think it's been a long enough night. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to get a room here tonight because I, uh, I am traveling back to half rate right now. Brooke on leans forward. Uh, I have just had one thought. In your, in your line of work, might you be uh, skilled in interrogation? So I've done some interrogation sometimes. What? So what? Well, it's just we have, uh, we have a captive who we need to really? secure some information from. I don't know if you have any... Tips or real pop. Just there's this thing slumped in the end. Oh the right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um. Well, uh, some of the guys use uh, Zone of Truth. If you got that, it's a nifty little spell. To it is a nifty little spell. That's a good way of getting things out with any bloodshed. But if you gotta convince them, uh, if you get some like real small files. You can like put them underneath their fingernails. Okay, that's that. Uh, so I, 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 I just sort of put out the knife, just that. Like, Mr. Br- Br- okay, zone of truth. Understood. Yes, excellent. Anyways, I'm gonna get a room for the night. Uh, perhaps I'll see you in the morning. Handsome. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's back upstairs. And it's your sword rapier, wasn't it? What? Just, just writing it down. What she's getting. Is it rapier or short sword? Uh, short sword, uh, jack and <gasps> Thank you! Is there for another six sessions? Oh, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it. <laughs> it, could be, it, it could be I was gonna say, it could be a bit more than six. <laughs> anyway, uh, so she so she disappears upstairs, leaving you with your captive in the cellar. Um, you doing anything else? Or. Cause Not it, with caveat, I think. Cool. Um, so once she's gone, another sort of half hour or so goes by before. Um, the half orc uh, grunt appears. Hey! So. You uh, needed me for something? So we've got. Well, I've got a couple favors I wanted to run by. First one, let me do the parting thing again. This is just our thing now. Yep. Can you watch no. our uh, tied up friend until we're uh, able to come and talk to him properly? So you want me to just uh, watch him? Is that... And punch him if he wakes up. Ugh. Oh, we uh, we need him alive. Yes. Yeah, you can make a persuasion check with advantage, because I guess you're all kind of getting in on this. Mm. So I've got a one and an eleven. I'm lacking the ones. <laughs> so eleven altogether. Eleven. Uh, persuasion, so sixteen. All right. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm supposed to get off uh, not so uh, half an hour ago, but um. So, how about a goal to watch him for two hours? Make it two. Yeah, sure. I've I'm a poor wizard, generous, after all. Sure. <laughs> um, did, uh, did you get to copy down those spells that we? Uh, oh, uh, with, with the elf. Yeah. Uh, I uh, yeah, I talked to her. Um, no, she. Uh, we uh, have. Quite some time to spend to copy spells. Oh, good. So, uh. Cool. So, one gold to watch, yeah? Huh? One gold to watch. Two gold, yeah. Fine, two gold. Yeah, she's, uh. Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's been real, uh, helpful. Um. Yeah, I think might be spending some time together while I copy down some spells and, you know, and she gets acquainted with her grandmother's stuff. You know, it's, uh. It's a nice inn, yeah. Spent most of your <laughs> share of Callie's money has been yeah. paid back to Callie and to the council. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to be spending a lot more before today's done. I've done the maths. Uh, it's a pretty healthy share for everyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, I've got a whole person ready just in case he wakes up. Is that a good spell? Yeah. Yes. 
knuckles. Great. It's real good. I'm just like <laughs> cracking his knuckles. It's, it's what I did to the Rat King that we could have killed him. Not that we didn't, because it didn't work. Yeah, the initial yeah. When he said hold person, yeah. Seth was like, I can hold a person. Like, yeah. like Or Fleeting actually just goes over and just holds the Rat, rat King goes. Is that, is that what it does? Let's go rest. Sort of, yeah. Um, right. Don't let him bite you. Cool, so... Which we mm, had no. short rest. He likes doing that. Do we need to sleep in a short rest? No, no just no. an hour. Just hang yeah. out, just relax. Yeah. Go up, have a drink, and short Attuned rest. to staff. Okay, right. Okay, so you, can, so you go up there. The bar is now empty completely. Um, you just see Kali Shadows disappearing into one of the rooms upstairs. Um, Brooklyn goes for a little mind sweeping expedition, tries to find a, a drink someone's left behind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, make a little investigation check for me. Sweet. Well, the rest of you, um, so so Jack kind of goes up to you guys. Is that the uh, rats dealt with then? All done. All done. Excellent. And it's Better clear be. for me to uh, go down and explore and. Oh, I. if I were you, I would uh, pray for a rock slide down there. Mm-hmm. If you do go down there, take your bouncer. There were these things that dropped onto people's heads and like oh. ate them. Oh. So can we go down there and burn one? That sounds a bit dumb. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, lovely. Like, um, down with this Oh, well, that's a shame. Uh, well, uh, I, I guess you've uh, dealt with the, the problem. The, I, these things that drop from <laughs> ceilings aren't going to come in, this, are they? Or? This guy was the rat guy. It was his fault. He was good. No, the the the, <laughs> like the, the unconscious man that's tied up. Oh, he's the one with right. He was like, "Come to me, my pretties." Yeah. Oh, well, that's not good. Um, ratty, ratty, he, <laughs> ratty. And he was ratty, making ratty, them bigger ratty, ratty, and nastier, ratty, 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 and there was an actual rat bear pig. I don't know what that means, but okay. A um, rat crossed with a bear crossed with a pig. You paint a most vivid picture, my and it elven was disgusting, companion. And I never, yeah. I'm never, it ever, ever going back It sounds pretty disgusting. That's super surreal. So, never. There so, were um, exploding rats. There were rat dragons. Right. Well, um, this is all quite a lot of information to take in. Um, so you're so, so. What are you going to do with him? Final. He's the only one left. Uh, I mean, uh, Callie said something about like little needles under his fingernails. I think. We're oh, just no, gonna find well, out if there's anything uh, we should know about down there for your safety. Well, that would be most appreciated, yes. Um, like pig bear rats. Well, I suppose you fulfilled the contract, as it were, so... And he rips down the wanted poster um, of you, and also the one that was describing you guys. Um, he still rips them, them up. up yeah. on the <laughs> uh, and he, uh, He's a small business owner, man. Guy understands leverage. Wait right there. Uh, <clears throat> and he appears a moment later uh, with a sack of coins. 200 gold pieces. Okay. As promised. Oh, uh, that's uh, yeah. incredibly uh, generous. Thank you uh, very much. Well, it was incredibly generous of you to go down there and nearly die, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. Nearly. Nearly. Yes. Yeah, you're you're, you're like, all still here, aren't you? It just starts like. Ne- merrily. Ne- merrily. Ne- merrily. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright? Are you feeling just, just, like, just go. You know, you know uh, speech impediments can be cured by some flaming Jack Booker. I believe I still have some oh, left of you. Nerys just looks at like a bridge that kicks him. Oh. Bru- Brucon, by the way, on his mind sweeping expedition came up completely dry. He rolled a four. Oh no! So as, so as, uh, as uh, Jack yeah. um, Jackman holds out the <laughs> flaming Jack Booker, he just kind of goes, oh lovely, thank you very much, and just, just grabs it. What you did find was uh, one uh, glass, uh, which you assume it was a wine glass, so you mm-hmm. assume it had wine in it and had a bit of lipstick stuck to it, and you're like, mm, a little bit of dregs in the bottom, and you're like, ah, I'm yeah. not touching that's that. Not what, that's, not, that's not what I'm after. That's not sanitary. I, I, can't, I can't meditate on, uh, on contemplate my place in the universe with this. Ex- exactly. Um, so he's flaming Jabuka now. Gets a flaming Jabuka, slams it on the back, gives it to you. Boom. I feel... Um, uh, I um, puts one in front of you, and he just starts, and he just puts one out for each Ma- of you. Mala, you were saying I don't do this, right? There's what six flaming jambuka shots on the ball. Oh, I would uh, advocate against it, uh, Mr. Hilbrun. I, uh, it's not. Uh, there are a great many uh, ills with alcohol. Uh, the occasional tipple is fine, but uh, this one's on fire. Uh, I eat it on fire. Well, on fire. Uh, oh, you blew it out. 
Well, the choice is yours, my friend. I, uh, mm, I won't be partaking. Uh, I'll, I, I think, uh, Mr. Brucon. I, oh, oh the, the splendid. Flaming Jack Thank you very much. Seven. Oh, I, I need a drink. I nearly got eaten. Oh, there's, there's one for everyone. There is one if for you everyone. If you had a drink, every time you nearly got eaten. You can have them on, on fire. Oh, wow, this nerd is beef. So you need to make a constitution check. Amazing. Uh, and when you take the shot, you'll need to make a constitution check to see that. Oh. Uh, you wouldn't know that until you take No, no, no. 14 is no. fine. You're fine. You just <laughs> burns a little bit in the throat, like very warming, but you're used to fire. <laughs> it's fine. It's going to do it. Yeah, it, it, has, a nice, do it, it. has a nice thing to it. Um, well, if every, everyone's doing it. You're getting some... Uh, uh, God, sure, Mr. Seth. Sorry, uh, I'll, I'll join you. And a seedy taste to it. Mm. Why, why do I shit at these? Malar walks over to the water tank. So how much? Fills up his water skin. <laughs> uh, shit no. Checks. To summer. Yeah, performance that. tank. So oh, okay. How much damage it did? Cool. Do you want to use Jack? I'm so shit. You rolled what? Eight. Eight. You're like, <laughs> I'm so shit. <laughs> Is that a good clap or he, a bad he, clap? You are um, hoarse now with your speech for the next sort of few minutes. <laughs> 18. 18, you're fine. You're just... <laughs> Straight down. It's, again, it's very hot, but... Uh, exciting. It is, it is the kind of heat that you've not had before. There are some... Loranlas is more... Um, or at least high society in Loranlas is much more into wines. Uh, some drank brandies and yeah. stuff, but nothing like this potent. But you managed to hold it down. Hmm. It, it reminds me of when you set on fire and I was too close to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brugon takes his. All about his, the memories. Brugon takes his uh, his shot glass, still uh, still burning. Yeah. Walks away a short distance, sits down, assumes the lotus position, holding <laughs> holding the the, the drink <laughs> in his hand in front of him, closes his eyes and goes. Mm, ten green bottles <laughs> standing on. It's like a mantra. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so not drinking it, just doing. No, the no, just no, just there. Thing. Like okay. it, it's, it's, he's using it like a candle. Right. Yes. Like it's a, like, so a he's, scented candle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a very anisey yeah, scent. Yeah. Oh, oh, the fumes. The fumes are going to be fun. Yeah, precisely. While this is happening, our moves over to the, the performance tank. Yep. Uh, after having sort of witnessed that, that probably his strong is not going to be needed at this point. Just slip my hand inside oh. and just check out. It's it. It's a rock now. Does he cast minor illusion or something else? Mm. It lasts like a minute. It lasts for like a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pop it back in. I mean, even if he, that's it. I'm not doing. I'm doing it with my back to the party. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's he's too busy like dude, being all horse. I had a whole intricate plan. You're familiar with game theory. I was gonna. I was gonna get the dwarves. I was gonna tell the dwarves that we fought in the first episode that you challenged them to an arm race. Hook a brother up. Ooh. And while you're arm wrestling, I'm going to try and slide it in the outside pockets. Oh, yeah! That's a good man. Yeah, you don't, you don't know that he's checked yeah. it out. Now, Malar so. has got a rock that he thought was a medallion. It is best, that's all. Mm. Okay, uh, great. So you have, have your shots. Um, after the hour passes, uh, Neris, your staff. Um, so, so it's an attunement item, as I said. Uh, this one it has three charges, and uh, I believe it's as an action you can expend a charge to. Uh, hang on. That's a what? What? Hang on. Sorry, I'll, I'll make it make it clear if I read it directly. <laughs> you get eaten by a storm oh, of yes. rats no, okay. as an action. Okay, so you have oh, you have queen. one staff of the Rat King. This uh, wooden starve has three charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one or more charges, summoning a swarm of rats for each charge expended. The swarms are friendly to you and your companions. Yeah. You will need to roll initiative for them as a group, which has its own turns. They obey any verbal commands that you issue to them as a free action. If you don't issue any commands to them, they will defend themselves. From hostile creatures, but otherwise won't do anything else. And the staff regains one d three charges daily at dawn. If you spend, expend. The, I'll send you the rest of the details later. D six half. Like one and two. Four charges. Oh, three and four. Five, yeah. and six. So, so you, you have, have, you have so many charges. Yeah. So you, you burn through them. Six. All oh, right. If you burn through all three. Bad okay, things so may happen. Mm. 
If I burn through all three charges, bad things happen to me. Uh, may do. Uh, the bad thing being, you have to roll a d20, and on a one, the staff gets destroyed by a swarm of rats. That, that's, that's the same for most charge items. It's dishonored. If you use them all, and <laughs> you can break yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. So basically, you only ever use two. So and the staff is, you can two is, is rats eating each other? What was uh, it? It's rats tied together by their tail to a rat king. Like a, 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 a long one side carved, carved into the wood. Carved into the wood, yeah. yeah. Sure. Not actual rats. Sure. Sure. Okay. Although when the spell is somewhere, they're there, don't they? So, I'm guessing as she realizes this, she just like looks at Mallory and she's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, suddenly you walk into a lot of bars. I'm the new health inspector. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it's like, well, maybe a well, few gold can uh, sway this conversation I, my I've way. I've got the solution if Jack ever, <laughs> yeah. Jack the innkeeper it's ever nice pisses because, me uh, off. It's not just a combat thing, it's a roleplay thing. Yeah. Mm. It's also, it's ho- so a combination of Dishonored and it's the average. amazing Morris and his educated rodents. Yes. Excellent. I'm hoping this doesn't turn into a thing where you just go around just going, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, protection rat good. <laughs> oh. Aww. Oh, I, I took psychic damage. Oh, yeah. Where did the rats come from? Oh. They're so summoned. Angry. From nowhere. Got the conjured, yeah. Can from the summon, elemental plane of rats. I'm so mad at you right <laughs> now. You don't know about the plane of rats. Like, if she stuck the thing in, like, someone's, like, mouth or something, could they summon the rats in someone? Is this I mean, is she this wouldn't Seth know. Or James? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, most certainly I wouldn't know. Um, you don't know. Let's you don't even know what it does, let's, so let's, let's move on from that. Does Nibbles uh, react to the staff at all? Isn't like, not that he, there's influence, but does he have a, any, th- any relationship Any relationship with the staff? Not that you've noticed so far, but he has been invisible this where's, entire time. Yeah, where's Nibbles hanging out at the moment? Mostly still, in Seth's pocket, Seth. but uh, okay. it's hard to tell because he's invisible, so he can pop up in many different places. He's already the decorated. The invisibility will wear off eventually, but it hasn't yet. Have short rested yet? Yeah, that's <laughs> the end of the short rest. Yeah, yeah. we did a short rest. Should we go back downstairs? Do we roll for and help? Talk yeah, yeah you, you, you can pick up to th- three D6. dice and roll them and add them, add your constitution to each one. So, sorry, you want to move back. Minimum of zero. Yeah, yeah, and so you guys can decide that's relevant for me. Yeah, that's useful information. Oh, dang. Hiding it in your in your uh, in your leather boots. That's a good idea. So nine plus six, so fifteen. Yes, yeah. so add them together and, and add your constitution. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You said it. We know what's happening. That's fine. So I don't get the constitution. Okay, great. Um, so you head back downstairs. Uh, no, not for this. No, uh, to uh, look for your charge downstairs or to, to go to your charge downstairs and uh, grunt just kind of nods at you. Wait, what? All of them. All three. So you've headed back downstairs to check on your charge. Yep. And to your say. Um, Thanks for watching him. All right. Uh, two gold. Oh, that, I'm not, I'll, give, I'll give it to him then. Right. Sorry, what do you know? Well, um, this was certainly uh, not very interesting. <laughs> Guess I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Hands upstairs. I hope so. you punched him. Huh? I hope you punched him. Why? Does he lick us? Look, we're punching this guy. Unresolved I issues. Mean, no, no, I, ho- I hope we can the check. guard punched. We can oh, check. Right. You can we look. Look at him. Has he been punched? I haven't looked at him yet. It's just, just, just an internal desire. Oh, yeah. I hope he punched. Do you want to, do you want to check him out and see if he's been punched? Sure. Right. <laughs> is this perception check? or what? It is perception check, yes. Cause this is very much a perception His check. His face is a mass of blood. <laughs> <laughs> He's just twelve. I mean, half so, those man just they don't know their own story. Uh, he looks undisturbed from last time. So disappointed. Uh, disappointed. Uh, disappointed. Uh, you guys did that so Wait, many times on the twenty-four hour stream. This is my stream. time. <laughs> you, you did disappoint so many times on the twenty-four hour stream because it's so good. Yeah. It's because it's, it's so good. relatable. It's, yeah. Relatable. Wow. So, so for <laughs> the uh, rat king. How are we going about this? Well, um... I could barbecue him a little bit. So we've got two online for torture. Uh, if he doesn't answer... Oh, no, I, uh, yeah, could, if he doesn't um, answer questions. We could ask we very politely. I'm uh, Mr. Blindness. Mr. 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 Leo. Blindness. Rukon. Um... Polite, then torture? Uh, I'm rather more comfortable with polite questioning, um, uh, as a general rule. Don't, don't I recall, though, that our, uh... Our tiefling friend has a, <coughs> a particular way about him uh, in terms of uh, particularly compelling 
Yeah. Words. Oh, uh, really? Stabbing. Also I mean, known as the spell around. command. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, oh, yeah, I forgot he used that. He's got command. Yeah. I thought you were going for Zone of Truth. It's not ideal. No, I mean, Zone of Truth would be better, but he's not, he's not high enough. It lasts for a turn. <laughs> Yeah, but it, yeah, yeah. So, so so creativity will be required. And yeah. It's a one um, word command. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I can hit him. Sure. <laughs> Truth. Oh, yeah. well, Speak to me. I'm, tr- I'm <laughs> scared of you. I, End of six I can uh, I can uh, assist you with that. I also have uh, that that uh, particular blessing from the eight today as well. Did uh, you? Yeah. Oh. It's Great. not as good as Zone of Truth, which is what I want, but I've actually also got command, so... Um, yeah. um, well, um, I was thinking... Um, which I've been thinking a lot, actually. Um, so, you know these rat kings, right? So they're like a no, group of... <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. okay, no. Okay, so... Um, no. no, but in all seriousness, um, wake him up, I've got something. Oh, okay, yeah, I just want to just... He is tied up, by the way. We tied him up at the end of last session. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He is. He is, he's, he's bound. Yeah. 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 Um, yes. Yeah. Who's bound? What do you want? What do you want? Please. I must continue my work. Oh. I need to stop him. Stop the voices. Uh, we were going we to get fleeting to question him. Voices in your head. <clears throat> Voices in your head. Let Fleeting take the lead on this. No. Fleeting, go ahead. All the way. <laughs> yes, Seth. Uh, my vote, Seth, is for torture. <laughs> okay, Fleeting. <laughs> Jack, fleeting. quickly now. Ask, like ask all some all the voices. Jack Bing comes down. Oh, yes, I think torture as well. <laughs> Let's just Can he shout? Oh, oh I think yeah, what's this guy? <laughs> yeah. Hey, white guy. Uh, I'll say torture as well. <laughs> <laughs> Nibbles, you're here! Jesus Christ, there's so many characters. Uh, <laughs> Go for it. Um, you're fleeting, you had an idea. Yes. You sort of ugh, stretches a little bit and goes, Yes, 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 Walks up to the to the Rat King, goes straight and <laughs> go, moves straight up into his face, and goes, "Tell us what we want to know." <laughs> Booming like it's really loud. The whole room shakes. Yeah, film turgy. Film yeah. turgy. Um, Good shout. Oh. <laughs> It's gonna be an intimidation. Oh wow, I rolled an eighteen. So uh, that's come on. is that the save? Or? No, 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 he didn't. He didn't do that. He just did thaumaturgy. He does what he wants. Great idea. I was gonna say, was that his? That was his intimidation. That was his intimidation. Uh, okay. Racking response. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want to know? Oh, uh, okay, so we've Tell that. me. Truth. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What do you want to know? We haven't asked a question yet. Yeah, we haven't asked him a question yet. Well, that one's got a salt burn. Um, um, why are you, what are you, what is your, why is that ah, words? Why, why, why are you getting a lot of <laughs> rats under here and, um, voices? Question mark. Oh, yes, voices. Lip the system. voice! The voice! Don't speak at the voice. The voice will hear. What does the voice Okay, want? you're talking about the voice first. So you've just spoken about the voice like three the times. The voice! Yeah, there what? we go. What, <laughs> what does he want? Uh, Why are you making rats? The voice who shall not be named. The, rat, the rats were mine. I was cursed. The rats were my friends. I wanted to make more of them. An army of them. To stop the voice. Did the voice curse you? Yes. What did he curse you? He... He, he drove me... He, he... He drove me... Mad! With his voice! What's all I hear? I can't sleep. I just... And when did you uh, start hearing this voice? 
exactly? I don't know. It was so long. So long. Well, friend, let me try and shorten The rats! Down. I must continue my work. I must build this army. I can find a way to defeat the voice and silence him forever. Please, you can must help me. Can you hear him right now? That's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> the voice! The voice! Nope. He's there again! Is he, is, is, can you hear him now? What's he saying? Oh, it's Text? so fun to torture him. So I, watch I, him squirm. Can I hear him saying this to him? No, no you're, you no, hear he's saying him. He's saying it to you. Oh, sorry. I, didn't know if he, I thought he was saying that What's to disturbing to you is that the Rat King seems to be reacting every time the so voice we can speaks. both hear that one voice. Go on, go on. He, he's, he says he enjoys it. He enjoys torturing me. He's talking to you. He's talking to 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 Seth. Oh, oh what, motherfucker, Mister Seth? Oh, that little. Oh, I think we truth. need to have a conversation. Rock comes out. Where is the medallion? How do you lose it? How? I don't think I ever had it. I throw the rock down at your feet, Mister <laughs> Seth. Do you still have the medallion? No, I, I detect gave it to magic. You. <laughs> oh, <everyone's so> <laughs> please, please let me go. Let me continue my work. Let me go back to my lab. Also, detect magic this way. <laughs> Just detect all the gap. No, not magic speak. as far as you can tell from him. Okay, so there's no like floating presence around him. Nope, not that you can tell. There's nothing magic on him. No, what he's, I, I his particular powers are not derived from magic. Can you see the for Mala, I just point out whether. Um, so the magic that you can see, um, you see one in Fleeting's pocket, you see one in Seth's pocket, you see uh, Neris is glowing all over. I mean, not just like her skin tone, just Medallion. glowing. Yes. Um, no, no, I in, so, <laughs> no, as in an aura we, of magic we, around we her. Can mostly evocation from her. <laughs> What's, in hmm? What's in my pocket? The medallion. The medallion. It's not in my pocket. Oh, sorry, from his boot. I'm so yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yes, one coming from his boot. You're the only one that heard that. Sorry. <laughs> we had a whole conversation about Yeah, yeah, about sorry this. about that. Point at the boot. Uh, and also from Fleeting's hammer. Does boot. It has a yes. application magic around it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Seth. Okay. It electrocuted me. I know it's magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and his pocket has a little something. Fleeting's pocket. Is that the dice? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Roger. Mr. Seth, I really, I must insist. The medallion, please. I left it in the. I gave it to you in the cave. Mr. Lover is pointing at your boots. If you would maybe. That's my ring. Them. I'm going to reach over hand with the ring on it. Take the ring out. I can see the ring separately. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, um, Ratman. You turn back to him. Yep. And at this point, you see that his now his face is like that of a rat. Oh, I was right. And Mr. Ratman. And the bonds that you had tied him with have been chewed through. I'm gonna draw my knife. Let me go! And pff, turns into a rat. I'm gonna draw my knife. Starts scuttling towards the knife to salad. I'm gonna oh, oh, throw it. You're gonna throw, 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 a, throw, a, throw a dagger at it. Okay, yeah, make an attack roll. Um, range attack, he's far enough away so you can do this. Uh, eight. He's within 20 feet, so you haven't got a disadvantage. 13, 14. 14 just hits. Roll for damage. Uh, D4. Dagger. dagger, yeah, D4. Six. <laughs> Bullseye. Pierces through the rat, which then <laughs> goes back into humanoid form, and you find dead on the floor, bleeding with a knife in his back as the Rat King. Mr. Seth, what have you done? I love that you still call him Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Got to respect. We couldn't let him get away and make another rat arm. Yeah, comes out. on the side just going. What? What is your game? <laughs> He was getting away! You killed him, I want answers. What, give me the medallion. We killed a lot of things in there, we were gonna kill him! He is a sentient person, he I, shouldn't just evacuate him of life. He was trapped, oh, he was tortured. Oh, I really want to, Seth. Give me to him, go on. Is there absolutely any uh, tick of that that I can see on his face as he's listening? Yeah, that part, that's the, that's the first time he's told me, said about hurting him if, he, if it takes it. So, yeah, you do that, notice yeah. that the Seth is, doesn't appear to be listening to you. Mr. Seth, he's talking to you now, isn't he? 
they just poke you in the chest with magical assault. That was the first time I've heard him since I've given you the medallion. You've not given and me the medallion, I pointed the rock. I gave you the medallion. That is waffle. What's in your boot? I look at him really confused. Mr. Leo, I'm going to reach down to my hmm? other boot. Has he still got something in his boot? I'm going to take off my other boot and be like, there's nothing there. Still in your boot, right? I'll take off the other boot. Yeah, but the other boot that you're wearing. Yeah, I look confused and I'll be like, turn us down. I'll let them down. Detect the magic. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Where is it? <laughs> I'm pretending I don't know it's there. I know. Okay, okay. But I'll turn it up and I'll be like, I'll be like, I uh, gave you the medallion. I'm inside checking that. Okay. Still in the boot. That, that's seven. Yeah, it's just deception against the inside, yeah. But is it still in the boot? That's a seven, so it's twelve. No, I've turned the Danny on the floor. But that's the f- so twelve. Okay, so the that's nine the, falls out. Nine falls out, I'm like, that's the first time I've heard it, and it's, it told me to give it to you because it will hurt you. Don't touch it. I'm not touching it, it's on the floor. But it said, give me to him. What did it say? <laughs> I'll just have it said, it. I really want to. Yeah, it says it wants you to have it. So mm. there's this, we're in the cellar, right? Yeah. And it's on the floor now. Yeah. <clears throat> Stone floor, not wooden floor. Stone floor, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you starting to care. <laughs> <laughs> the beams around you are all wood, though. Uh, the, the supporting beams and columns like and the stairs of wood. <laughs> you have control flame. Maybe you can never control mind. this fire. Um, I was just gonna see what happened if I firebolt it. If you want to do it, mm. that's not like it's not yeah. like you do a firebolt and it turns everything. Over. Over. You, you, <laughs> have, you have control fires. Yeah. So you can control. yeah, I can't blast it. Yeah, so, so I'm just gonna firebolt it. Firebolt just it. Attack. Just, uh, just well, it's an animal object, so you don't need to roll. I'll say this: we're here. Okay, I, I'll just I'm just gonna be like, I want to see what happens. It. And again, and again um, um, we're like hands at this thing. Fire and like, a roll around you as you cast firebolt. So anyone within five feet is gonna take some damage. I'm assuming that people have stepped away. away, or she would have stepped forward. These, we're, two, these two. We're are you no, assuming Bruca, this, Bruca or are you telling us to? Bruca's Bruca Bruca so far out of his depth that the, the fish have like weird like, glowing yeah, shit yeah. on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> way the over the, the back. He's not involved. Okay, fine. So she's gonna say, um, "Step away, please." Please. And then you. Okay. Stand back. Um, it doesn't seem to have any effect on that. She, uh, magical she furrows item. Magical her, item I mean. She furrows her brow to that. She doesn't like things that don't react. Mr. Fire. Leo Brin, Yes. Your uh, cape. Could I borrow that for a moment? Uh. Sure. I <laughs> Nearest um, repairs mending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. I intend to give it back in short order. With the cape over my hands, I want to pick up a medallion. Okay. To, ins- to inspect it. You're sure. One of their, um, another suggestion. Fleeting, uh, I think we'll have a divine sense left. Yeah. So it could use that to yeah. determine whether or not this thing is demonic in any way or. or he doesn't need to look at it. Um, uh, it's the same as when he looked at the, um, I did, I the did statue down in the thing, oh. uh, down in the, um, down in the caves. There was that, the Optima statue and stuff with the black acre coming out of it. Mm. It's something nefarious and doesn't know what it is, and he's just like, nope, no, right, yeah. it's not no, demonic, no, but it's, no, but it's no. not demonic or undead or angelic. I mean, no, he's it's not, not so sure what it is. Yeah, yeah okay. not sure what it is. But uh, I need you, with advantage, to make a charisma saving throw. That's his dump stat. It is, but I, it is You're one of my proficiency well. bonuses for saving throws. Yeah. So seventeen. Yeah. Nice. Oh, man. <laughs> the, 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 the disturbing lack of reaction from the DM. Yeah, <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. By the way, kids, if you're new to D&D and this happens, be afraid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Table it's flip and run. At, so at this moment, when you see Mala Same. gather up the um, the medallion... Same as um, Warlocks. And then suddenly... Mala becomes... What was Mala then becomes a shadow of Mala. And then the shadow just dissipates, and what? the medallion drops to the floor. What? Shadow Mala, what? Shadow Mala, Shadow Mala. What? This is gonna be so good. Mala, you, you. So the rest. So this is what the rest. The rest of you saw that he just disappeared. What? And the okay, medallion. Okay, right. All this what? Time. Mala, yeah. you don't know where you are, but you. All you know is it's. It is pitch black, 
and you are underwater and you are drowning. Uh, can mm. I? Yeah. Where Where is he? Uh, I mean, the trunk is going up and trying to find. <laughs> instinctively going yeah. above my trunk, find air. Yeah, and you, 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 no, you're way too, way too far down. You try to swim up, and you feel your leg is tethered, and you can't see what's down there. Um, you can't see anything, and, and as the water starts to fill your lungs, you see. Um, you see a flicker of light appear below you, and it reveals that what's holding onto you is a tentacle wrapped around your leg. And after a few moments, you can see there's a bit of vast shadow below in the depths. It slowly comes, floats upwards towards you, and you see the eye of a great kraken. Looking at you, looking straight at you, and you suddenly and you lose consciousness. You feel the water filling your lungs, the salt water, the, the salty liquid death <laughs> coming over you. So for the rest of you, um, uh, yeah, well, as the voice responded, I said, "Where is he?" Can I still hear it without holding the down? Yeah, you can still hear it. Oh, he's um, he's gone on a little journey, Seth. Bring, bring him back. In time, Seth, he'll return. Bring, bring him back now. Oh, I'm afraid that's not how this works, Seth. Seth's definitely still hearing voices. <laughs> it's saying it's not going to bring him back, but... All in good time, Seth. When you have the powers I do, maybe you can make the rules. It says it's not gonna bring him back. It says until we got the power, we, it does. We, we have to do something. Yeah. I, does it say where or what or what's you happening? Have, you have, what's you happening? have the magic. You tell me. You I'm have the conversation with the magical medallion that there's apparently some kind of. You thing know with magic. You. Yeah. Magic it. If you do stuff. Get up my dagger and try and stab it. That's not magic. I can do that. <laughs> is it? Wait, the medallion is still there, though. Yeah, it's still there on the floor. Yeah, I try and stab it on, on his cape. Actually, it, it doesn't burn. You, you, I can't uh, do anything. You try to stab it. it. <laughs> just it glances off of it. Doesn't do any damage. It just it's the face of it hasn't been scratched by your weapon. Bring him back, or you're going back. The medallion's going back in the hole, and it's not coming back up. No rat king's gonna find you. You'll stay down there. Bring him back. No, oh, Seth, Seth, Seth. <laughs> Think about what you've done. <laughs> We're about to go on a great journey together, Seth. You can't leave me just yet. Even if you want to. Bring him back, and we'll do it. Do? I don't know. Uh, make a She goes like, I'm sorry, what? Why is my T20? Natural 20. Nice! No! I mean, you, <laughs> what, what, what that says is you've just He's been. So pissed. What that says is you've just done a sterling job of <laughs> making a binding pact with a malevolent entity, but You're well done! You've essentially done a warlock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You don't know what. This my area. Was, uh, yeah. <laughs> and your choice was stab it. <laughs> I was going to say, I was wondering. <laughs> um, this did feel like it. Go look outside, Seth. There's uh, a pond not far from here. Which, which way? Wait, ah, shit. I'm going to run into it's Which way what? There's, round, there's a pond somewhere. Round the back, Seth. Round the back of the inn. Uh, there's a uh, exit from the cellar straight out, isn't there? Like, uh, out the the so, uh, yeah, we snuck right, we snuck yeah, in we the back. Snuck down there. Yeah. So, uh, gonna as we see this nearest tree, he's, 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 he's in a pond. Bursts out of the door. Yeah. As we get out, go, Leo, can you sense him? I was trying to detect magic. <laughs> Always do that, just have yeah. it on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's a ring. The X-Men out of that corridor. Dark, <laughs> dark, vision, dark vision detect <laughs> magic. Me, my locks are <laughs> well, you, um, you're not detecting any magic aside from the usual. Mm. Okay. Can I, it's no magic. Um, uh, I can't be on fire underwater. Dark water. vision. 
Can I? Can we, can, I'm going to run to the back of the pub. <laughs> I don't know the what? rules here. No, no. I don't know how uh, this works. You, uh, you run around to the back of the pub. Yeah. Okay, uh, Matt, well, I can make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Jump stat. 20. 20. Yeah. Nice. Okay, um, so you got a pond. Oh, there's a, there's a pond. Yeah, there is a pond. It's a bit of a ways set back oh. from the, from going the end. But bonus across a clearing. But yeah, you're... <laughs> and I'm going to take, throw the cable and dive straight in. Well. Um, <laughs> is it fun? Okay, let me use my perception to make sure it's not Well, I was going to say that before you, when you, <laughs> when you start <laughs> running up to it, you do see, you see there is a mound in the center of this pond. Yeah. Uh, it's obviously quite shallow, and as you get closer, you can see it is the unconscious form of your Loxodon companion, okay. uh, face down in the in the pond. Cool. Uh, He's not turn, moving. I'm going to turn him over, and I'm going to pour a healing potion straight down. Yeah, more the fluid, one, more the, fluid is going to help. The him. one he couldn't find. I mean, if it's magical fluid. <laughs> uh, so you pour a, po- a healing potion down, so right. So with that, so you throw so it down there. A moment down. later, see how I found that healing wait, potion wait, wait. on attempt one in your pocket. He's, he's saying. I'm saying things. Saying things. A moment later, the um, water spurts. You, you're sick. You sick water out of your mouth, and then more comes out of your trunk as you're. <sighs> you so you are healed by. 1d4 2 plus 2d4 two B, two D four plus 2, sorry, yeah. Um, so you were on 0. Yeah. Just short rest. 7, yeah. I mean, you, t- you touched the thing. <laughs> so I not... did it through a cape! Yeah, yeah, that's why you had advantage. <laughs> it was a very, it was very narrow advantage. fail, if that helps. But it was a fail nonetheless. <laughs> there isn't a local volcano. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> Yeah, and you're brought back to consciousness. So everything that you um, saw when you were banished, uh, you don't remember, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so you, you can't relay this to the group yet. So he's awake. He's awake, and he has no idea what's <laughs> happened. Oh, oh. 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 Um, relax. <clears throat> He doesn't know how he. he doesn't know how he got there. Last you remember is when you disappeared. Basically, it's, 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 you, you, you reached the medallion and you ended up in a. Are pond. you guys okay? <laughs> uh, well, Malal's alive uh, and here. Uh, oh, what just happened? The, what the heck? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> You're the one with the talking medallion. That sends people into ponds. Except for you, apparently. Well, I haven't picked it up again since, so I don't know, but... But you've been... You've you been, were having a chat without, without I touching told, it. I told you what it said, but... You've been talking with it for a while, because you've had it all the time. And I told you guys before when I was speaking to it. Oh. Mr. Surf. What did I join? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah Brucon's sitting there thinking, I mean, this is... Very promising. Sweetie <laughs> comes out and he pulls a bit of lettuce from his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> he just... Cabbage. 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 Mr. Sir. Cabbage. What did we discuss <laughs> yesterday regarding dark magics and uh, <laughs> your remit? What we can take away from this is you owe me a health potion. I'll oh, just slump back <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Asshole. Fine. <laughs> you're, you're lucky that Mallard doesn't casually I'm, stab people. I'm, because. Gonna, yeah. I'm gonna help him up. And I'm, I lean a little bit heavier than I should do on set. <laughs> Let's I'm, go back inside! I'm seven foot two. <laughs> you are. Yeah, I'm walking, oh, uh, walking like a squat. You need to make, uh, make a strength check for me just to see, uh, or athletics, if you've got it. Uh, Eleven. Uh, 12, Eleven. Sorry. Okay, you were going to struggle on your. Brucon, yeah. Brucon rushes in to help. Okay, oh. sure, sure. Between the two of you, you can get him back. There. I mean, how Brucon's going to help drag a seven foot two guy around is not entirely clear. Yeah. <laughs> but but you, but what, whatever it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you, like, whatever it is he can do, he does. <laughs> like I lean into you with my hip a bit, like kind of. Yeah, that, yeah. Just, we're, you're we're, holding. Back. Sure, yeah, yeah. You I'll, become, I'll, you I'll support his, your butt. His four, <laughs> four foot walking cane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but just, you know, just just rest your hand on my head. I just start walking past the two magic people. I'm like, do any of you know fly? Fly, <laughs> levitate. No. Nope. Cool. It's great. 
Careful, I can do whole person if you want. Uh, okay. Can you hold him in the air? That's not how that works. Okay, great. <laughs> and then we carry on bringing him inside. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. And as you head back inside like to rest for the evening, um, not knowing exactly what's gone on, but a little bit suspicious of this medallion, your rogue friend. <laughs> a, little a little bit is probably an understatement. Yeah, little, Majorly bit. concerned about Tad. this uh, medallion Sweet. that your rogue pain is now acquired. Now you're all considering what your next move is and where you're going to head come the morrow. We had a plan. It's gone up and shit now. But... <laughs> um, like, because everybody ran out. Did you pick up the medallion on the way out? So it's still down in the cellar. Is somebody going to pick it up? What kind of word is it? You. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I'm fine. You also go past your two horses when you go inside. They're tied up. Horses. I mean, they're not actually your two horses, but you know, you, I the ones stole you stole. Them, like, yeah. legally a while ago. <laughs> yeah, legally. <laughs> legally stole them, yes, yeah. that's right. Rogues. <laughs> view of life. Everyone that I legally stole, stole them. Yeah. Every, I stole those fair and square. Everyone we stole them from is either a dick or dead. Uh, um, well, like, again, like, rogues. At this point, Neris is seriously considering stealing one of those horses, just riding to Hilburg. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick up my hat in the dead? <laughs> and that's with, half rage. Oh, damn it. And with all these thoughts flowing around your busy brains as you try to digest everything that's happened this evening, we're going to end today's session. Damn! <laughs> the hits just keep on coming. Oh, so uh, it looks so. Oh, the ranking's oh, taken care of, but it appears that it's. Your troubles have just begun. begun. Oh, but now. I think uh, Hilberg next time. On to Hilberg. So we'll have, uh, guys, next time is our um, Halloween edition. Yes! Yes! I was putting dresses of fucking Oxidon one way or the fucking yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Man, if and anybody needs a, a wig, I have several. <laughs> so we're going to be uh, coming dressed in costume. The players will be coming dressed yeah, as their characters. Regretfully, uh, Dan, aka so Fleeting Look, is, isn't going to be here next week, so he can't. We can't get him in, in blue. Tiefling, yeah, it's not going to be here. Uh, which, is sad, uh, which is sad. Which is sad. But the rest of the party, I believe you guys are all here next week. Is that good. Right? Good. 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 Great. So that'll be our uh, that'll be our, our Halloween edition. That's Monday here at six pm. I'll be back on Friday with another uh, campaign diary talking about this session and the last one about all the things that have been going on. So we'll, some tidbits and lore for you. Tune in for that. Five pm here on Friday. And don't forget, if you haven't already, you want to win those dice, you get to enter the competition, give us a follow, and comment with the word badge, or of course, do it via social media. I'll be releasing the details tomorrow. Anyway, for tonight, thank you all, and good night. Be Bye. Safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.